on the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield. Hawkeye basketball is on the air. Oh! Hawkeye basketball is brought to you by Authentic Brand, unique Hawkeye apparel at Authentic-Brand.com. High V, score big savings with a new High V Perks membership. Honda, to see how Honda crushes the competition, see your central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge, just minutes south of Iowa City. United Healthcare, committed to helping people live healthier lives. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes, built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Wimmer's Meats, the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. And by Alliant Energy, powering a clean energy future. Welcome to the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Delivering opportunities and results for Iowa's 40,000 soybean farmers. Good evening, everybody. Gary Dolphin with former Hawkeye great Bobby Hansen. We're courtside at Carver Hawkeye Arena, and I could have swore I just heard something like a sleigh and a bunch of hooves land on top of this building a little bit ago. Now, that would take some doing. And in between the, all the iron girders that jut out of the top of Carver Hawkeye Arena, but, Bobby, I'm guessing uh, Santa Basketball is here to see who's naughty and nice tonight. And hopefully the Hawks are really naughty in a nice way as they go for back-to-back -back victories. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, after the three-game losing streak, the Hawks got off the mark and got a victory over in Des Moines on Saturday evening uh, against Florida A&M and looked really good in doing it, Gary. I, I, I thought very efficient in their offense, uh, led wire to wire. Owen Freeman had a fantastic game, a double-double for him, and everybody got involved, which is the good thing you want at this point of the season. You want everybody clicking everybody hitting on all cylinders and another opportunity tonight against uh, a team that is going to race up and down the court they don't play crazy but they play fast and, and play right into the hands of the hawkeyes that would be the university of maryland baltimore county the hawks uh, hope to stick a big old lump of coal in their stocking uh, before they head out of town this is the first of two games here at carver and mediacom court to close out non-conference play iowa is four and one at home this season uh, where they average 96 points a game in those five contests. Bobby, obviously, they like the home cooking, but Wells Fargo wasn't bad either. They got a hold of that game early, scored 15 of the first 17 points Saturday, and raced away to victory over Florida A&M. Took good care of the basketball, controlled the backboards, and did what they had to do. I thought the defense was attentive right from the get-go. They, they played in the gaps. They were helping each other. They were active. They played with a lot of energy, and uh, it was good to see because that was a great crowd that they had there and the Des Moines people coming to watch them. Sure was, and it certainly... Uh, juiced up uh, the Big Ten freshman of the week for the fourth time this season. That is now a new record for Iowa basketball. Owen Freeman, uh, what a game he had. Uh, a double-double, his first career double-double, and I'm sure the first of many to come. Yeah, when you look at his stat line, it was fabulous. Uh, Owen Freeman, let me take a peek here at him. Only played 19 minutes, 6 of 9 from the floor, made 2 of 4 of his free throws, 3 offensive boards to go with 8 defensive boards. He had 11 of those, had a block shot, 14 points to lead the Hawks guys there four players in double figures so had good balance in there and what, that's what i was going to have to do talking to uh, matt gaitens a little bit prior to this game is you got to use the big man here tonight use owen freeman he's a willing passer you, you make hard sharp cuts to the basket he'll pass you the basketball but more importantly it gets that offense moving from side to side UMBC, University of Maryland, Baltimore County. Boy, as Bobby mentioned in his opening remarks, they get up and down the floor. And like you said, Bobby, uh, uh, play fast, don't play nuts. That's one of Fran McCaffrey's uh, favorite lines. They've got, uh, they've got five guys, four or five guys with ten or more made threes this year. So not only do they jack them up early in the shot clock, but they're accurate. Yeah, don't shoot a high percentage, though, Gary. They're uh, just around the low 30 percentile. They make about seven a game, I believe. You know, the Hawkeyes are going to make 10, 11 three-point field goals a game, but you got to be ready, man. You can't jog back on defense. you got to turn around. you got to be communicating to each other. What they used to say in the NBA, point your pistol so you can point out who you got. Might not be your guy, but you got to pick them up because they're going to be coming
coming right up your backside here. Uh, made or missed field goals. That's what I like that Iowa depth should show again uh, tonight as uh, Fran runs through his rotations. The Hawkeyes are 6-5, and 0-2 oh in the Big Ten, and they want to finish the non-conference schedule tonight and with Northern Illinois next week on a roll. UMBC is 5-8. and eight. They have yet to play a game in their conference, the America East. Maryland-Baltimore County has been playing Division I basketball for just 38 seasons. Uh, they've been playing basketball a lot longer than that, but uh, they have a tall task here tonight in the Iowa Hawkeyes. As Bobby mentioned, not a big team. The Retrievers of UMBC and the Hawkeyes coming up here at 7 o'clock for the tip. This is the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. This holiday season, Iowa basketball is partnering with U.S. Cellular in giving the gift of connection. The Hawkeyes and U.S. Cellular encourage you fans to support Iowa nonprofit organizations by donating new sports gear, art supplies, or family games. Fans can deliver donations to their local U.S. Cellular store through December 31st, New Year's Eve. Your support is appreciated. Let's show Iowa how the gift of connection can truly impact the next generation. Coming up next, we'll take a trip down memory lane with the Hawkeye historical winning moment presented by Riverside Casino and Golf. We're in Iowa City at Carver Hawkeye Arena for Hawkeye Basketball. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash corn grows Iowa. With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow grease, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! Right now, you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering a Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga, breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org cancer. The big game, family, friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. Join the Hawkeye Radio Network and Swarm for our Hawk Talk Bowl Preview Show. Swarming to the Citrus, live from the pub at the Point Orlando on December 31st from 1 to 2.30 p.m. Central Time. Join us for an in-depth analysis of the Hawkeyes versus the Tennessee Volunteers. Hawk fans traveling to Orlando, make sure to stop by the pub at the Point for the best fish and chips in the U.S., plus over 30 draft beers, including the Pour Your Own Beer Wall. It's the Hawk Talk Bowl Preview Show, December 31st on the Hawkeye Radio Network and the official YouTube channel of the Hawkeyes. Welcome back to the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Biodiesel, moving Iowa forward. Iowa 
soybean farmers for your support of Hawkeye basketball. With Bobby Hansen, our engineer producer is Corey Sheets. I'm Gary Dolphin. Welcome back to MediaCom Court in Carver Hawkeye Arena where the Hawkeyes and uh, the University of Maryland Baltimore County Retrievers will uh, take off here uh, in a little less than an hour. Right now it's time for our Hawkeye historical winning moment. As always, courtesy of our friends at Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, the Keel family and all the staff members at Riverside Casino and Golf wish you the merriest of Christmases and a happy new year. Stop by today over the holiday, anytime really for a relaxing massage at the spa, fine dining at Ruthie's Steak and Seafood, and so much more. Visit Riverside Casino and Golf Resort today, located minutes south of Iowa City. Last time these two met up on the basketball floor was uh, almost 10 years ago, December 6th of 2014, when the Hawkeyes uh, had a great start to that game and rolled to a 77-47 win over the Retrievers. Peter Jock and Gabe Olashaney each tied career highs with 15 points apiece on a Saturday. Aaron White added 14 points in just 17 minutes. Iowa would win its seventh game against just two defeats. And the Hawkeyes had, uh, would post their fifth consecutive win after back-to-back -back losses to Texas and Syracuse. That had to be in a holiday tournament somewhere. Yeah, and I don't remember it, to be honest with you. But, uh, I read that note earlier, but those had to be young Peter Jock and Aaron White, mm -hmm. uh, Jared Utah guys, because I, I know their career highs went on to be higher than that. Now, the Hawkeyes led by 28 at the half, uh, shot a, a really good percentage for uh, that first half, 55%, 44% for the game and rolled to a victory 77 47 four in double figures uh, jared utoff added 11. ola shaney with his 15 points seven rebounds three block shots big man sounds like uh, owen freeman's line but that's what gabe did i uh, love it loved his game and he just kept getting better and better came here such a raw young talent uh, from england and such a delightful young guy and he, he just continued to improve and i believe he's still playing professionally overseas hawks played syracuse and texas in the 2k classic out in, in uh, madison York? Square Garden in okay. New York City, so they came off that and and looked good. Two tough losses against two quality programs, but oh. beat Univer University of Maryland, Baltimore County tonight's opponent, 77 to 47. Also, 77 years ago, 77 Ed Podolak's birth year. 77 years ago tonight, uh, It's a Wonderful Life uh, debuted uh, Frank Capra's classic. Now, I was reading today, it, it didn't get very good reviews. Jimmy Stewart, the star of that movie, uh, who had already won an Academy Award in the early 1940s, wasn't sure he wanted to play the lead role, uh, and for good reason. Uh, didn't know that until today, but... Uh, uh, Jimmy Stewart, who was a fighter bomber pilot in uh, World War II, was battling depression issues uh, when he came out of the war. And, of course, uh, we know what a tearjerker It's a Wonderful Life is. Of course, it, it, uh, it has a, a happy ending. Uh, the other component there is that Donna Reed, who grew up in Denison, Denison, Iowa, was the female star of that show, of that movie, with uh, Jimmy Stewart. So we remember the great Donna Reed and James Stewart tonight. And I know uh, your dad was, a, was, a, was on a, a bomber uh, in World War II, and uh, I can see where you would have some uh, emotional uh, issues coming out of World War II, especially if you were taking flack, literally. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, hats off to all those uh, men and women in the, in the armed services that given their uh, basically their life up every time they're going on these things and i, I can see i did, did not know that jimmy stewart was battling that while he made that movie because it has some depressing parts to it if oh i boy. remember right gary so um but he got out of it and uh rang the bell angel got her wings right angel <laughs> indeed he's gonna jump off the bridge Ooh. until he, he was uh, called back by an angel and uh, the rest is history great movie and it'll be playing a lot uh, this weekend, this uh, Christmas weekend. Uh, the, the scene was set on Christmas Eve, so yeah, very. Uh, it really tugs at your uh, heartstrings. Well, there's a little extra tonight for the Hawkeye historical winning moment, uh, courtesy of our friends at Riverside Casino and Golf Resort. Up next, we'll check out the Iowa City Sports Commission's women's update and a U.S. Bank scoreboard. Peek at that anyway. Uh, games yet to be played tonight by Big Ten teams, including Iowa and UMBC. And this is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Right now, you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. 
You're not cheering the Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The Countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit IALottery.com slash VIP. Woohoo! Everyone knows the BBB is the Better Business Bureau, but depending on what you need, it's the Better Plumber Bureau, the Better Auto Mechanic Bureau, the Better Accountant Bureau. That's because the BBB connects people with businesses they can trust. So think of the BBB as the Better Check That Business Out First so you don't get ripped off Bureau. Be smart. Always look for the BBB seal because it's looking out for you. Find a better business anytime at BBB.org. Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. Whether you're building a backyard fence for your family's new best friend or firing up the excavator for your next commercial project, a free and simple call can save you from expensive fines and even save your life. Call 811 at least two days before you start your next project to have underground utility lines located and marked. At MidAmerican Energy, your safety is our number one priority. So make it your priority to call 811 before you dig. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon call, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See Credit Union for details. If you're looking for the perfect place to host your holiday party, look no further. Come to Bumps at Finkbine. Have a good time as our new chef, Rick McCombs, provides an unforgettable experience. Don't forget about Thirsty Thursday Super Social Hour where Bumps offers buy one, get one free on domestic beer bottles, house wine, well cocktails, and appetizers. Not only is Bumps the ideal spot for Hawkeye pregaming, they also offer a fantastic Sunday brunch. Bumps is your one-stop spot for great food and a great time. Go to Finkbine.com for more information. Iowa's final game before the Christmas holiday comes up tonight here at Carver Hawkeye Arena. Thank you for joining us on the Hawkeye Radio Network. Iowa and Maryland, Baltimore County headed for a 7 o'clock tip-off. Time for the Hawkeye Women's Sports Update, courtesy of the Iowa City Area Sports Commission. The Iowa City Area Sports Commission, responsible for our community being home to countless amateur sporting events and state tournaments, including those of volleyball, wrestling, tennis, and much more. The Sports Commission generates significant annual economic impact while adding substantially to our quality of life. The Iowa City Area Sports Commission is a proud presenting sponsor of UI Women's Athletics. Learn more at wegotnext.org. Wegotnext.org. Hawkeye and National Player of the Year candidate Caitlin Clark earned another Big Ten Player of the Week uh, on Monday, the 22nd weekly award from the Big Ten Conference. That's the second most in league history behind only Megan Gustafson, another U of I All-American star. Clark's 22nd trails Gustafson by one. Megan had 23 uh, and uh, and during her illustrious career. Clark led the Hawkeyes to a neutral site win over Cleveland State on Saturday in Des Moines, registering a game-high 38 points, 5 assists, 5 rebounds, and 2 steals. The All-American sunk 9 threes, shooting 62% from the field. Fourth-ranked Iowa returns home to face Loyola of Chicago this Thursday at its non-conference finale. Tip-off is set for 5 p.m. inside a sold-out Carver Hawkeye Arena. The game will be broadcast with Rob and Tiffany on the Hawkeye Radio Network. Iowa softball coach Renee Gillespie announced this week uh, details of Iowa's 52-game regular season schedule. Uh, Iowa 
We'll have 14 games at Bob Pearl Field uh, down the hill here from Carver. Uh, they lead things off, though, with the NFCA Classic in Clearwater, Florida, February 9th through the 11th. The Hawks will host Wisconsin in their Big Ten home opener, uh, home opener on March 22nd. The Hawks come off a 35-win season, including uh, the National Invitational Softball Championship title. They return Big Ten all-freshman selection Jalen Adams to the pitching circle. Hawkeye Volleyball added two transfers this week to the roster. Joining the Hawks uh, this month, or excuse me, in January, our junior setter Claire Amaral from Central Michigan University and senior libero Joy Gallus from the University of Arizona. That's our Hawkeye Women's Sports Update, courtesy of the Iowa City Area Sports Commission. Now a U.S. Bank scoreboard. We know when you invest in a community, the community invests in you. U.S. Bank is committed to providing high-quality, innovative products and services that meet the needs and demands of their customers. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. A couple games involving Big Ten teams tonight uh, will tip off uh, here in a while. Nebraska is at home at Pinnacle Bank Arena to North Dakota, the, the uh, same North Dakota team that Iowa tipped its season off against. Uh, at 7.30, Northwestern's out in the desert playing at Arizona State. I mentioned the Hawkeye women hosting Loyola of Chicago tomorrow night here at the arena. Top 25 games tonight. Uh, number five, UConn, is at Seton Hall. That'll be a, a fist fight. Tenth ranked Baylor is at number 21, Duke. The eleventh ranked North Carolina visits seventh ranked Oklahoma. Twelfth ranked Creighton is at home out in Omaha to Villanova. That's our U.S. Bank scoreboard update. Uh, coming up next, we'll hear from Maryland Baltimore County head coach Jim Ferry. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Are aches, pains, or injuries keeping you on the sidelines? At Athletico, our movement experts are here to help you turn your setbacks into comebacks and create a personalized game plan for your recovery. With no prescription or referral needed, Athletico Physical Therapy is where your comeback story begins. Get started today by scheduling a free assessment at athletico.com. Proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Let's be honest, we all like to be noticed. Picture yourself striding into Kinnick Stadium, radiating both style and comfort, while fellow Hawkeye fans can't help but ask, where'd you get that shirt? With pride, you point to the big screen and reply, it's authentic brand. Discover the remarkable difference that apparel with the authentic brand label brings. Ask for it by name at your favorite boutique, spirit shop, or retailer. Or shop online at authentic-brand.com. It's time for a change in your style. It's time for authentic brand. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. The Hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel. The Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor, and Melrose Meadows. Voted Iowa City's best retirement community. Jill Armstrong and her team strive to make every buyer and seller at ease with the real estate process. If you are in the market to buy or sell a home, contact the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty. For all your real estate needs, call 319-631-5455. There's a Honda for every holiday adventure. Whether it's taking in the lights with all your friends in a spacious Accord, or taking in a snow day in a rugged CRV. Find your new Honda during Happy Honda Days. For a limited time, well qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Accord and a 2024 CRV. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. See dealer for financing details. Lots of insurance companies make promises about how much you can save if you switch over to them. Well, here's our promise. With the West Bend policy, you can save everything. Every memory. Every detail. Everything you've worked so hard for. Once it comes time to actually make a claim, a cheap insurance policy can really cost you. Why not protect everything that matters with a policy from West Bend? Because the worst brings out our best. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Hi, it's your friend, social media. You know where I showcase the cool life of sports stars and friends. But don't fall for the editing and good lighting, because we all have struggles and challenges, like with alcohol or drug use, gambling, or our mental health. You know, talking about it is a sign of strength. Maybe you don't know who to talk to? Your Life Iowa can give you resources or treatment options. Get free 24-7 confidential support. Call, text, or chat online at yourlifeiowa.org. A message from Iowa HHS. Thank you. 
Welcome back to the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Biodiesel, moving Iowa forward. We're back at Carver Hawkeye Arena, Mediacom Court, awaiting Iowa and the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. The Retrievers, they've been off since December 12th. Uh, they've dropped three straight games in four of their last five. They dropped to five and eight on the year. The UMBC has played two Power 5 teams, falling at Louisville 94-93. That got the Hawkeyes' attention. And then at Maryland, uh, the Terps had their way with UMBC 92-68. to Their head coach is Jim Ferry. If that name sounds familiar, it should. He is uh, formerly uh, a staff member at Penn State when Pat Chambers was the head coach in State College. Jim, uh, everybody's been talking about pace of play for the last few days. They're going to see a, a little up-tempo tonight. Yeah. I mean, with both these two teams, I hope everybody's ready. I mean, we're flying around. That's our goal. You know, uh, I think we've done a decent job with our pace. we got to do a better job defensively, though. So that's what we're focusing on. Every coach would say that every night out, wouldn't they? we got to do a better job defensively. But offensively, you've, you've got great balance. Yeah, we do. we got a good group of guys. You know, we have 11 new guys this year. It's really been tough trying to integrate everybody together. Great kids, first of all. Awesome kids. I love working with them every day. It's just we're still in a process of finding out which pieces really fit well together together as we're playing really fast and aggressive and that's why it's led to some turnovers at times now you've coached at a few uh, well-known tradition rich programs uh, you, you spent some time as the interim head coach at, uh, at Penn State yeah what did that teach you about the Big Ten having to, 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 to game plan yeah. night in night out yeah. well you know the Big Ten's great league one of the best leagues in the country I really enjoyed my time you know I spent four years at Penn State right. um, we had, a, we had a lot of success in those four years I was there, and it's fortunate. Coached some really good players. But, you know, just great players, great coaches, great atmospheres. Uh, the biggest thing you notice is the size. You know what I mean? I think you're going to see the difference between my team compared to the Big Ten teams. Like, Big Ten, there's just not much space on the court. Everybody's huge. Everybody's really physical. Uh, but at our level, in our league, it's ne not necessarily about that. It's about playing with pace and space, and that's what we're trying to do here. So uh, what did you do at Louisville that you want to see from your team here tonight? <laughs> continue to score the ball like we did at Louisville and hold Iowa to less than Louisville got. Uh, that really came down to one possession. I mean, a real crazy play at the end of the game there that, that uh, turned the tide and, and we lost basically at the buzzer. So, um, But it's about us really focusing on ourselves right now. We've had a couple of days of practice um, and we've really just fine-tuned some things that we in the first couple of games we've got to see what we needed to work on with all these new guys. So we've kind of worked on that and that's really our focus right now. Really focus on ourselves, come out and play really hard and aggressive that said what impresses you about fran and the hawkeyes this year yeah man i mean you want to talk about a skilled team i mean they're big they're physical but they're really skilled i mean the assist to turnover ratio you know fran's teams are always going to play fast and play aggressive uh they play a great motion offense they really share the ball uh, I, I think they're an exceptional passing team exceptional shooting team um, and their size, you know, so I think they, you know, very much like us, it's, it's, there's some new guys in the mix for them that they got to blend in. Uh, but I think when Big Ten, you know, rolls around, they're going to be right there in the mix like they always are. Merry Christmas, Coach. Thanks yeah. for your time. Merry Christmas. With Dion Brown leading the way at 16 and, a half game, uh, 16 and a half points a game. He's also grabbing nearly six rebounds. So he will be uh, marked by that Iowa defense uh, tonight. Thanks to uh, head coach Jim Ferry of Maryland, Baltimore County for stopping by our Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Uh, is your small business ready for a big promotion to support and celebrate small businesses? United Healthcare and Hawkeye Athletics are teaming up for the spotlight on small business sweepstakes. Winners receive radio promotions, social media recognition, and more. To enter, visit HawkeyeSports.com slash UHC. United Healthcare is a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Join us for the Hawk Talk Bowl preview show coming up on uh, New Year's Eve afternoon. It's, it's called Swarming to the Citrus, live from 1 until 2.30 p.m. Central Time on December 31st from the pub at the Point, Orlando. We'll preview Iowa, Tennessee, hear from the coaches and players, and have a few special guests stop by. Tune in on the Hawkeye Radio Network and the official Hawkeyes YouTube channel. In just a minute, we'll chat with Hawkeye head coach Fran McCaffrey. He's presented by your Iowa John Deere dealers who wish you the merriest of holidays. This is Hawkeye basketball from Lurfield. 
Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited. We provide experiential travel and vacation planning for Hawkeye fans across the state. Contact one of our destination experts to start planning your next trip at duagency.com. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments, they're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment, committed to making health care better, more affordable, with more choices for care, and service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment, knowing that Blue is here for you. Go to wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. Are aches, pains, or injuries keeping you on the sidelines? At Athletico, our movement experts are here to help you turn your setbacks into comebacks and create a personalized game plan for your recovery. With no prescription or referral needed, Athletico Physical Therapy is where your comeback story begins. Get started today by scheduling a free assessment at athletico.com. Proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area. Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at Hy-Vee. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the Hy-Vee Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the Hy-Vee Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for Hy-Vee Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Step into the action with the Fight for Iowa podcast. Join host Gary Dolphin as he takes you behind the scenes with Hawkeye coaches, athletes, and alumni. Tune in weekly on HawkeyeSports.com, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and more. Your front row seat to Hawkeye athletics. Welcome back to Carver Hawkeye Arena. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. The Hawkeyes in Maryland, Baltimore County will tip off shortly. Uh, this should be, needless to say, an up and down game tonight. The Hawkeyes are 14th nationally in pace of play, averaging 76 possessions per 40 minutes. Now that's fast, but listen to this. Maryland, Baltimore County is fourth nationally. Uh, that uh, equates to a, a shot every seven to ten seconds. So the shot clock may not be paid any attention uh, tonight. We shall see. It's time for our visit with Hawkeye head coach Fran McCaffrey. Each game day, Fran is sponsored by the great Iowa John Deere dealers, including Sinclair Tractor in Minneapolis. Ten made threes for the Hawkeyes against Florida A&M Saturday in Des Moines. That's uh, second most in a game this season. Uh, but also impressive at the other end of the floor, uh, the Hawks limited the uh, Rattlers to 30% shooting. Coach McCaffrey would take that every night out. Yeah, no question, Dolph. I mean, our defense was as good as it's been in a while. And we need to do the same thing tonight. You know, we're playing a small team that's really quick, that is number one in America in pace of play. Uh, so they're going to get it and go, kind of like we do, get it out of the net, go with it, makes and misses, shoot early in the clock if it's there. Uh, so their style of play is unique, uh, you know, but our defense on Saturday was really, really good. Where was it good, Fran? What pleased you most? Well, in all facets, uh, you know, our transition defense, our pressure on the ball, we're in the gaps, our post D and our rebounding, which is obviously the most important component. Owen Freeman is Big Ten Freshman of the Week for a, a school record fourth time this season, and rebounding had a lot to do with uh, that, that honor again, but he's averaging... 
10 points, 5 rebounds, 2 blocks, 63% shooting from the field. Uh, he is really on a fast track. Yeah, and he he's playing more relaxed. You know, I think when a, when a guy first gets here, he wants to do everything perfectly. And he's a very conscientious young guy, but he's... He's got a lot in his game. He's an athlete who, who's big and strong, but he can run, he can move, but he has perimeter skills. He can put it on the deck, he can make plays off the bounce for other people, he can shoot the ball. And so what we've done is encourage him to do that. And you're seeing more and more of him sort of play with a little bit more reckless abandon and, and play through his mistakes and not let and, you know one little mistake linger on him. and. and ultimately seeing a, a much more confident guy. Conscientious young guy indeed. You know, Tony Perkins' line was eye-popping too, Fran. 12.7 assists, five rebounds, and only one turnover. And Does Brock Harding's increased minutes uh, keep Tony uh, in a better state of mind in terms of mental and physical freshness at the end of games? Well, yeah, potentially. I mean, obviously the end of that game was a little bit different. Uh, but what it does, you know, with you know, with Brock or DeSante or Josh, it gives us the ability to move Tony around. It makes him that much harder to guard. He has the ball as a point guard, then he's running the lane and attacking in transition, or he's coming off, you know, picking action, enabling him to isolate and take advantage of his quickness. And, and he's just that kind of dangerous weapon that we have, and we can put him in different spots, and he's effective because he's really smart. Coach, uh, back to Maryland, Baltimore County, you mentioned they waste little time getting off shots. They have five players uh, with 10 or more points a game, excuse me, five players with 10 or more made threes this season. They have uh, four averaging in double figures. They really do spread the wealth around, don't they? They do, and, and you know, any team that shoots that many threes is always going to be dangerous because all of a sudden if they make 12 or 13 or 14, they're hard to beat. I don't care who you're playing. Uh, if the team makes that many threes. And so the key for us will be to contest them as best we can, whether it be in transition or in half court, but to also limit them to one. Now, this Deion Brown, just a sophomore, but he leads them in scoring uh, and rebounding. Uh, are they just a matter of looking for him every time down? He's very aggressive uh, in terms of his mindset. You know, he, he's got the ultimate green light, so he can shoot it whenever he wants. And he's got an uncanny ability to, you know, miss a few in a row and just keep firing. Uh, but he's got a really good mid-range game. He can make threes. He goes back down game. He's got a really good handle. And he's got a terrific frame. Uh, plays bigger than he is. Coach, let's conclude uh, this week. Uh, it is the holidays, and it's tragic anytime you lose somebody that's familiar or, or close to the game of basketball. But we lost not one but two uh, former incredible uh, All-American players this week. Uh, uh, the great George McGinnis uh, from uh, Indiana and Eric Montrose from North Carolina. Back-to-back -back shockers there. George was a little older. Uh, Eric was only 52. But, boy, that puts everything in perspective, doesn't it? Well, you know, the, the, the thing about those two is they're really good people. They were really good players. I mean, we all remember their careers. I mean, I remember when I lived in Philadelphia when the Sixers signed George McGinnis, and he was a game changer for that city because the, the franchise was really down. And then, you know, Doug Collins, George McGinnis, Dr. J, that just rejuvenated it and also did the same for the NBA. But everybody that knew George loved him and very well thought of. Obviously, in the state of Indiana, but Eric Montrose, I mean, we recruited Eric Montrose when I was at Notre Dame. And just a delightful young guy, great family. You know, same high school as Tony Perkins, same high school coach as Tony Perkins, uh, Jack Kiefer. So, uh, you know, thoughts and prayers uh, with both of their families. And Coach, uh, let's wish uh, all of our Hawkeye friends and fans and supporters a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This is the last game before the Christmas holiday. Northern Illinois will be out there in a few days, but uh, we so much appreciate the uh, the backbone of, of the program, which, which is our Hawkeye fan base. And they showed up in full force in Des Moines over the weekend, and they've supported us all year. And we can't thank them enough. We really appreciate them and hope that everybody has a happy and healthy holiday. Good luck tonight, Fran. Thank you. Appreciate it, Dolph.
Yeah, indeed. Two, two of the greatest. North Carolina's Eric Montross. She was just 52 years old. And, of course, the great Hoosier, George McGinnis, uh, both leaving us way too soon this past week. Our sympathies to both the Montross and McGinnis families. Our pregame visit with Iowa coach Fran McCaffrey is sponsored by Sinclair Tractor. Sinclair Tractor, your premier John Deere dealer, serving southeast Iowa, western Illinois, and northeast Missouri. Stop by and experience how we strive to earn your business every day. Visit SinclairTractor.com. Up next, Bobby Hansen has the club car wash keys to a Hawkeye victory. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. The big game. Family. Friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bose, pediatric neurologist with University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at uihc.org. With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow grease, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, Melrose Meadows. Voted Iowa City's best retirement community, the Hotel and Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, and the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor. Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community, garage, indoor pool, and more. Visit MelroseMeadows.com for more information. Welcome back to the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Biodiesel, moving Iowa forward. Sprinting on toward tonight's uh, tip-off. Iowa and the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. Let's get Bobby Hansen's keys to the game. Keys to a Hawkeye victory is brought to you by the official car wash, the University of Iowa Club Car Wash. With unlimited membership starting at just $20 a month, there's no better time to join the club. Visit clubcarwash.com to find a location nearest you. If you're playing defense, you want to pay attention. That's for sure tonight. Yeah, up and down the court, this game will be, Gary. These are, Both these teams are up in the top 10 in the, in the nation in tempo and pace of play. There's going to be a lot of possessions in the game. So we've got to make our comments quick, I guess, to get in and out of them. <laughs> so, number one key, though, for me tonight is don't underestimate your opponent. Uh, respect that team that lines up across. Me. So many upsets around the country, almost upsets occurring across the league. I watched Indiana last night escape Moorhead State. They got lucky. They should have lost that game, but had a big run at the end of the final five minutes, I think, to win it uh, by one. But these teams are all talented. They all want to come in here and make a mark and make the highlight reel. So don't, don't underestimate your opponent. 
treat them like they're a Big Ten opponent and get after them early. The second key in this one, as you mentioned, Gary, up and down the court, it'll be your defensive transition game. UMBC will push the tempo on made or missed shot. You can't jog back on defense because these guys will be coming at you. Get back, set your defense, talk, point your pistols, talk to each other, communicate, and rebound the basketball. There'll be some bad shots taken because they play so fast. They don't play crazy or nuts, but uh, they'll take some, some wild shots. So you got to rebound the basketball defensively here tonight. And then offensively, cut with a purpose, just like you did Saturday against Florida A&M. Limit your turnovers, crash the offensive glass. There'll be opportunities to get some putbacks. So this isn't a very big uh, basketball team in uh, University of Maryland, Baltimore County. So uh, get off to a, uh, you know, put some, get some putbacks, get to the free throw line like you did Saturday. Hawks had 13 free throw attempts in the first half to none for Florida A&M in, in the first half. So more of the same here tonight. And also use that big man, Big Ten freshman of the week for the fourth time, Owen Freeman, a willing passer. He's a big target. He's, he can pull, pull the defender away from the basket, open up some cutting lanes. So let's yeah, find the big man inside where we have the advantage. Yeah, to your excellent point, movement without the basketball. That really helped the Hawks get out to a double-digit lead out of the gate Saturday at Wells Fargo Arena. Those are Bobby's Club Car Wash keys to the game. Visit clubcarwash.com to find a location close to you. Hawk fans, experience your home away from home this holiday shopping season at Coralville's finest all-sweet hotels. Homewood Suites and Home 2 Suites by Hilton. Homewood Suites, of course, in the Iowa River Landing. Home 2 Suites by Hilton just across the road from uh, the Coral Ridge Mall. Each offer guests spacious suites, complimentary breakfast, 24-hour fitness center, pool, hot tub, guest laundry in convenient locations. Let their warm and friendly staff take care of you and your family when you next visit Hawkeye Country. All right, around the corner, we've got the Mid-American Energy starting lineups and the Farmer State Bank tip-off. Those are next. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. What are you craving? The Wig and Pen in Ankeny, across from DMAC, is proud to offer dine-in and carry-out. Home of the famous Flying Tomato Pizza and Chicago-style deep dish, the Wig has all of your favorites, including thin crust pizza, appetizers, lots of sandwiches like the Turkey Club and Reuben, soups and salads you'll love, and a full bar. Call to order or just come on in for lunch and dinner. The Wig and Pen in Ankeny, what are you craving? Right now, you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering a Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation, Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. Tonight's starting lineups, Iowa and the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, are brought to you by MidAmerican Energy. MidAmerican makes reliability a slam dunk with a balanced energy mix of wind, solar, and other sources that ensure you always have the power you count on. Learn more at MidAmericanEnergy.com. 
For the uh, visitors, Maryland, Baltimore County, the Retrievers, 5-8 and eight on the year, have yet to play a game in the America East Conference. Head coach is Jim Ferry in his third year. Jim spent four years at Penn State and uh, coached 25 games as interim coach and replaced some Pat Chambers a few years back. They'll start at a guard, Ace Valentine. They're, they're guard-heavy uh, lineup. Ace Valentine is a 6'3 freshman from Baltimore. He averages five points, four rebounds. Devin Sapp, a 6'4 junior from San Jose, California, and transferred in from the City College of San Francisco, puts up six points, four boards per game. Kadarius Smith, one of their better scorers, a grad transfer from Fort Mill, South Carolina. Went to USC, uh, that's the University of South Carolina, upstate. He's a 6'9", 220-pound forward, averaging 13 points, 5 rebounds, and shoots 59% from the field. So he hangs around the rim, as does Deion Brown. He can get to the rim. 6'3", sophomore from Great Barrington, Massachusetts. Brown is their leading scorer, 17 points. Six rebounds and two assists. So at 6'3", he can really get up. And Marcus Banks, Jr., a 6'3", Jr., from Hampton, Virginia, averaging 11 points, three rebounds, 82% from the uh, foul line. Marcus Banks, a transfer in from Odessa Community College uh, by way of Hampton, Virginia. Those are the retrievers of the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. They lost a one-point game at Louisville. Maryland drilled them pretty good uh, in uh, College Station, but they are dangerous to Bobby's point. Now for the Hawkeyes, no changes. Tony Perkins, a guard, 6'4", senior from Indianapolis, is averaging 13 points and five rebounds to go at three assists a game. Tony's complete line has been very impressive of late. Peyton Sanford at a guard, 6'7", junior from Waukee, averaging 13.7 rebounds, hit a three and a two to start the game Saturday at the well, and the Hawks were off and running. Peyton shooting 85% from the foul line. Patrick McCaffrey, the 6'9", redshirt senior from Iowa City West, averages 10 points, four boards. Ben Cricky, 6'9", grad transfer from Edmonton, Alberta, and Valparaiso, Indiana, Valparaiso University. Cricky, 17 points, five rebounds, continues to lead the Hawks in scoring. And Owen Freeman, the Big Ten's freshman of the week, 6'10", 230, a forward. Uh, putting up 10 points, five rebounds a game. He is shooting 64% from the field. Of course, the Hawks will come off the bench with Brock Harding and DeSante Bowen and Laji Dembele. Uh, Laji uh, uh, injured his Achilles in practice uh, earlier this week. Uh, Graham thinks it's a sprain. He is available, but they'd like to get through this game without him. And Price Sanford, likewise, will play. Those are the Mid-American Energy starting lineups. The officials for tonight's game are Kelly Pfeiffer, Mike Pearson and Bill Jacobson, veterans of the Big Ten. The Farmer State Bank tip-off for Iowa and UMBC is next. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. You might think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. While farmers work hard to grow the best crop, their Iowa corn checkoff investments are hard at work, too. Opening local and global markets for corn and corn-fed products. Educating drivers on unleaded 88 as the best fuel at the pump. Finding new uses for corn and sharing the farmer's story. Iowa corn farmers are backed by researchers, educators, market experts, and more. To keep corn growing Iowa. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Today is the day. After countless hours of research, cutting back expenses, and nine months of anxiously waiting for her, today is the day you finally bring home... Your new car. It's also the day to protect her with an auto policy from Shelter Insurance. Our policies are competitively priced and include new car replacement coverage if anything were to happen to your new baby. To find an agent near you, visit shelterinsurance.com. We're your shield. We're your shelter. It takes hard work to be the best in the game. Planning. Commitment. Resilience. Sweat. That's why Old Dominion Freightline, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, 
works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freight Line, official freight carrier of Iowa Athletics, helping the world keep promises. Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow grease, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! On the Hawkeye Sports Network, from Learfield, Hawkeye Basketball is brought to you by 988 Lifeline. If you or someone you know needs support now, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. West Bend, the silver lining. Mid-American Energy, look up, look out for overhead power lines. Visit midamericanenergy.com for electrical safety tips. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Hawkeye Basketball. By your local Ford dealers. And by Authentic Brand, unique Hawkeye apparel at Authentic-Brand.com. It's game time. Out of Peyton Sanford. Across the court to McCaffrey. Here's Sanford for three more. Yes, sir! 34. And a foul. You're listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with well-marked Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Here's Gary Dolphin and Bobby Hansen. Thank you, John Mim. Great job on honoring of our country with the national anthem. <clears throat> Late arriving crowd. A nice turnout uh, considering the students are home for the holidays. Some of them are here tonight. The pep band is here. And uh, people still arriving. We got room for you. Come, come on out here in the neighborhood, in the vicinity, and uh, walk right up to the ticket office and purchase a. Uh, a ducket to uh, Big Ten quality basketball. Bobby, you mentioned Indiana's uh, come from behind win last night. Uh, this week's uh, AP Top 25 poll includes four Big Ten teams. Purdue leading the way, followed by uh, there's Illinois, Wisconsin, and Northwestern. Those four are playing awfully well right now. Yeah, they really are, Gary. And, uh, you know, the entire Big Ten is, is playing well, to be honest with you. I mean, you know, they're just taking care of business, if you will. And that's why you can't overlook any of these teams here. I sat and watched that Indiana game, and uh, I didn't think they were going to pull that one out. But uh, they had a big run, I think, 20-4 to four in the final five minutes to get her done, win by one. But that Moorhead State team, the guard, got hot. So that's what can happen, and you get a talent talented young player and starts bombing them in from long range and everybody gets confident so you got to be careful you got to play defense and you got to be smart with the basketball you got to limit your turnovers now you heard Fran's comments in our pregame visit he doesn't care who he's playing this Maryland Baltimore County unit uh, has uh, 
uh, a half a dozen guys that have 10 or more threes. Yeah. They can shoot just like everybody else, but Purdue uh, back in that number one spot. What a week they had knocking off previously number one ranked Arizona. We've seen uh, Matt Painter's act before. They're, they're yeah. really good with big Zach Eady. You got the big man inside, and then you got those two uh, guards there, Brandon Smith and uh, I think it's Fletcher Lawyer, who uh, both had spectacular games against number one Arizona. Brad's got another outstanding unit at Illinois, and of course, uh, Coach Collins at Northwestern knocked off Purdue. And the Hawkeyes, uh, we get back into the swing of things uh, in Big Ten play. Big Ten all the time starting January 2nd at the Kohl Center in Madison. Yeah, big game up there. The Hawkeyes uh, need to get in the win column there. We've won up there. We were just reminiscing a little bit about uh, Jordan Bohannon's freshman year when they got an offensive rebound and kick out to Jordan for the for the game winner in that one. So uh, that should be a really good start to restart to the Big Ten season uh, at the first of the year. Wins are so precious on the road in the Big Ten, especially in a tough venue like the Kohl Center. But let's uh, take care of uh, business at home first tonight, next week against Northern Illinois on the U.S. Bank scoreboard. Uh, Nebraska has a one-point lead on North Dakota, 29-28. Six and a half to go in the first half over in Lincoln. Later, it's Northwestern at Arizona State. Among the top 25 teams, UConn trails by five at Seton Hall. That's a tough place to play. We were there a year ago. Duke has a two-point lead on uh, Baylor at halftime, 34 to 32. Later, North Carolina at Oklahoma. Tonight's opening tip between Iowa and the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, is sponsored by Farmer State Bank. Earn $250 when you open an eligible checking account at the Tiffin branch or online. Get rewarded for banking with FSB. Visit myfsbonline.com for complete details. That's myfsbonline.com. Subject to approval. Minimum $50 deposit requires e-statements and direct deposit. Member FDIC. Before we get underway, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. 10-second ID time. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Basketball. Thanks for listening in on the Hawkeye Radio Network. Our flagship stations, WHO AM 1040 in Des Moines. WOC 1420 on the dial in the Quad Cities. And, of course, in the Cedar Rapids area, it's WMT AM 600. Up in the Cedar Valley, Waterloo, Cedar Falls, Waverly has you covered on KWAY 99.3 FM. Kadarius Smith and Owen Freeman will jump center. Owen, a lanky 6'11". Freeman... Long arms, Smith about 6'9", and Smith looked like he, he jumped a little too soon, but he got the tip into the backcourt. And the uh, dark brown with gold trim uniform, UMBC has the first look in the offensive end. Hawks chasing Banks around. He steps back, hits a fadeaway three, going to his left right front of the Iowa bench. That's a little two-man game they worked on in the, in the shoot-around there, or the, right before the warm-ups there, and he shot that one with tremendous confidence. Banks off the mark. 3-0. Well, now it's 3-2. Oh, and Freeman with a nice backdoor cut. Good lob feed to him. Went up and dunked it. So it's 3-2. Hawkeye's back to within one. Got to guard that three-point line. Here's a baseline drive. A bounce pass knocked away. Retrieved by Brown. Step back three. Good by Sapp. Sapp with a corner three. So they're two for their first two from distance. That one, uh, unfortunate bounce of the ball there. The Payton couldn't come up with it, and uh, they just hustled down, got to the floor, and kicked it outside to Sapp. They dive for those 50-50 balls. They're not a big team. They really get after you. Yeah, they are. Retrievers. Peyton Sandy. Yeah, they are. They retrieve those loose balls. Hawkeyes inbound. Patrick McCaffrey hits the baseline jumper. Right baseline extended about 15 feet. And here are the Retrievers right into the front court. We talked about their pace of play. Here's a steal. Bad pass. Tony Perkins heading the other way and misses the layup. Gets his own rebound. Up and misses again. Put back is good by Ben Cricky. Great hustle by Cricky to get down there and help his teammate. Really good hustle by Ben. Yeah, because he did not give up on that play. Tony missed a couple of chippies there. Good defense by the retriever. Cricky there for the putback. Hawkeyes catch the retrievers at six. 
They have back-to-back threes to open the game. Here's Brown. Stand still three. Good. My goodness. Three for three. And we haven't played, from distance, we haven't played two minutes. That's their best player right there, Deion Brown, off the mark. What a shooter. So is Peyton Sanford, but his three is short. A foul on the rebound. They're going to get UMBC's Ace Valentine with a push off the freshman. The Hawks will get the ball back, trailing 9-6 with 18-16 to play in the first half. They haven't disappointed yet. Coming out firing are the UMBC Retrievers. It's not like the Hawks are backing off them defensively. There's Peyton Sanford, fumbles the inbounds feed from Perkins. Gets it under control. Now back to Tony along the sideline with 13 to shoot. Owen Freeman, left wing, peering inside, now takes it to the lane, drop step, shot up, no good. Uh, had his own rebound, lost it. That's out of bounds to uh, those pesky retrievers. A lot of hands reaching in, knocking the ball away from Owen Freeman. I like what Owen did, though. He saw he had a six foot three guy on him. He took him to the basket, a little up and under move. He didn't bite, couldn't get the shot to drop, but at least he's being aggressive. Brown in the front court, chased by Perkins. Crossover dribble, dips in toward the free throw line. Now holds up on the dribble, back out near the timeline to Ace Valentine. Valentine tries to beat Patrick McCaffrey off the switch. Here's a three from the wing, no good. Fired up there by Marcus Banks Jr. Hawks with a rebound. They finally miss Sanford. Looking to pound it inside, but they're fronting Owen Freeman. Now they get it right of the lane to Cricky. Out top for Sanford. He quick shoots a three. No good. Well short. Peyton's been short by a mile on his first two tries, but he'll he'll get zeroed in. Cricky pokes a pass away, and it's uh, over and back. Boy, I thought Cricky poked it away. He did poke it away, but it, it was Let's see if they overrule this. Let's Thought see what maybe they... Kadarius Smith okay, he, he touched. Okay, he might have. 17-17 to play in the first half. Fran McCaffrey is saying he touched the ball. Fran said we had the ball. The official saying I called a backcourt violation. That's my error. So she admitted it. Yeah. yeah, he was overruled. He was overruled. Now 21 on the shot clock. It's 9-6. 9-6 in favor of UMBC. So the Hawks need to play out the possession. Here's a pitch to the right side. Substitution in already for UMBC. That's Bryce Johnson. He's a double-figure scorer off the bench. Smith with a step-back jumper. No good. Hawks rebound. The 17-foot miss. Peyton Sanford down the floor. Tony Perkins is open in transition and misses a three. Run down by Owen Freeman in the corner. Saves the possession for Tony Freeman. Now to McCaffrey. High post right. Drop back pass to Cricky. Now to McCaffrey. He's wide open for a long two. Good. Nice find by Cricky. Really good find. And a good job by Patrick of making himself available. Open on the left wing there. Didn't get quite out to the three-point line. Had a foot on the line, but that's a good offensive play. Brown throws up a three. Good from the corner again. Oh, boy. This is something. These guys, the way they shoot the three. Deion Brown. Their leading score at 17 again. You can see why. Sanford tries to zero in his first three and does. The exchange of threes makes it 12-11. UMBC 16-14 to play. And we're just getting started. There's a shot fake, a drive into the lane. Scoop layup, no good. Rebounded by Freeman. And all over his back is Kadarius Smith, the 6'9 grad transfer from South Carolina Upstate. Iowa gets the ball back. 12-11. UMBC with the lead. Checking into the game now is Max Lorca Lloyd. He's a shot blocker. Tough guy out of Brooklyn. He's 6'9", 6'10". Penn. Ten. Penn University. Fran McCaffrey's alma mater. Hawks shoot for their first lead. They've tied it once at six, have not led. Crick, Cricky puts the ball on the floor, stumbles, gets rid of it to Peyton Sanford. 15-55 to play in the opening half. One-point game. Backdoor lob Freeman. Nice catch and a foul from behind. As he's bumped into by Ace Valentine, that's his second personal. So he will have to. It's not Ace Valentine. Bryce Johnson off the bench with the shove. Time out on the floor. 15.50 to go. First half. Iowa down one with the ball when we come back. This is Hawkeye basketball presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But 
the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Whether you're building a backyard fence for your family's new best friend or firing up the excavator for your next commercial project, a free and simple call can save you from expensive fines and even save your life. Call 811 at least two days before you start your next project to have underground utility lines located and marked. At MidAmerican Energy, your safety is our number one priority. So make it your priority to call 811 before you dig. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments. They're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment. Committed to making healthcare better, more affordable, with more choices for care. And service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment. Knowing that Blue is here for you. Go to wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. Housing racehorse start to the game. They've hit four threes. They being University of Maryland, Baltimore County. The Hawks have hit four of their first five shots. So uh, the race is on, Bobby. Boy, it is. And uh, three-point shooting has been phenomenal by the retrievers here to start the game. They're four out of five. Two by Deion Brown. One by Marcus Banks. And another one by Devin Sapp in there. So you got to get out to their shooters. But I think the Hawks will eventually wear them down. Should have two free throws coming here for our big man, Owen Freeman. All but one shot, uh, their threes, has been contested by the Hawkeyes. Only once in the good ball movement get an open look. That tells you how deadly they can be if they get off to a hot start, and they've certainly done that. They average a little over seven threes a game, and already they've got four. The Hawks keep pounding the ball inside, though. That'll take its toll over 40 minutes, and Owen Freeman shoots two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting, and the first one rims and comes out. 12-11, Maryland, Baltimore County with the lead. One more free throw for Owen. He can tie the game for the second time. Second free throw, missed them both. Ouch. So here we go. Rebounded by the Retrievers. Here's a stop and go move. Push up, jump shot, no good. Left of the key. No hesitation in Deion Brown. He'll shoot it right away. Hawks are running. McCaffrey for Sanford. Left of the lane for Freeman. Owen passed up a short jumper. Gets it to Tony Perkins. Right back to Owen Freeman. Shot up, no good. Gets his own rebound. Lobs it back out to Perkins. Sanford open for three. Good. Rattles it in. It's two for four. And Iowa has its first lead at 14-12. Good offensive board work that time by Cricky and Owen Freeman to keep it alive and then a kick out to Peyton. Here's Lloyd for the Retrievers. Here's a deep three, top of the circle, no good. Offered up by Bryce Johnson. Kicks long to Sanford. Here come the Hawks running, and a foul called in transition, a holding foul on Bryce Johnson. Well, he was standing near the timeline when he let that three go. You knew he'd be the first one back. Yeah, he had Owen Freeman. He was battling in there. Freeman did a nice job of getting position, ran right to the front of the rim, held him off, and then the Hawks throw it over the top. Nothing he could do but foul. Owen Freeman, ball out of bounds. 6-0 run by the Hawkeyes. Has them in the front, uh, in the front, in front for the first time at 14-12, and now the ball game or the uh, ball will be inbounded underneath to the left of the goal. Then it comes to Sanford, wraparound pass. Freeman lost the ball on the way up, but tips it to teammate Perkins. Jump shot up and in and out, no good. Cricky kept it alive, but lost it. And here comes the running game by the Retrievers and a foul called on Peyton Sanford. He saved the sure layup or dunk by Deion Brown, who was racing by Peyton. He was the only one back, so that's a good foul. And just the first on the Hawkeyes. Now, Maryland Baltimore County's been whistled four times already. Freeman will come out for a breather. Desante Bowen checks in. Desante been playing solid basketball. Yes. Here of late. Ace Valentine will inbound for the Retrievers. Lobs it out top. For Max Lorca Lloyd comes and sets a screen, gives the ball to Frank Emu. Now the wing to the middle. A drive and a dunk is good. Great penetration, though, by Ace Valentine to create some space. And he handed it off to 6'9 Lorca Lloyd for the dunk. Tie game at 14. 
Iowa with the ball. Sonny Bowen, a bounce feed right side for Sanford. His three is short. He rushed that a little bit. Runs down, run down in the corner by Frankie Mu. He gets it to Brown on the wing. Sanford has him. This guy can shoot. Takes Baden inside. Step back jumper. No good. Rebounded Perkins. We're running the other way with 14 minutes to play first half. Tony, a stop and go move to Bowen on the wing. Back to Perkins on point. Screen from Cricky to Bowen. Bowen drives into the paint. Scoop layup attempt. No good. Tough shot. And rebounded by Max Lorca Lloyd. Running the other way is Valentine to Emu. Tie game at 14. Here's a long set shot three. No good. Tipped out by McCaffrey to Tony Perkins and out of bounds off of Ashton Reese, the freshman from Scottsdale. 11 new faces on this uh, Coach Ferry UMBC team. They're playing pretty good together right now. 14 all tie. Brock Harding comes into the game. And Tony Perkins perspiring heavily at this pace. And I don't at, blame him. At this pace, they are Ooh. going up and down the court, going hard. 13-34 to play in the half. First half, tie game at 14. The Hawks now shoot for the lead. Both teams have been stuck on 14 for two minutes. McCaffrey gets the ball right back to Bowen. Shot up, blocked away by Lorca Lloyd. Off the block. Here comes Banks deep into the lane. A, a pass to the wing is picked away and knocked out of bounds by DeSante Bowen. Intended for Ace Valentine. Hawks in a little bit of a scoring drought here. Two minutes, 0 for 5. One of their last eight made field goals. The last made field goal, I think, was a three by Price Sanford. Well, the Retriever's not much better. They've got eight. one field goal to tie the game at 14. And that's been in. That's the dunk by Lorca Lloyd. 20 on the shot clock for UMBC. And it comes to Ace Valentine. Takes the dribble along the far sideline. Now cross court for Banks. Banks wants the big guy inside. Can't get it to him. Here's Reese. Back to the wing in Valentine. Backdoor cut. But again, Lorca Lloyd all covered up by DeSante Bowen. There's a pitch into the corner. And now a violation. That's not where you want to go when you're facing an Iowa double team. Frank Emu. Drove right into the corner and was in Death Valley. I'm going to credit Brock Harding with some really good on-the-ball defense right there. Squared him up, moved with him, didn't allow him any, any room to get out of there, and kid ended up stepping out of bounds. Second turnover on uh, the visitors from Baltimore. 14-14 tie. Now Harding directing traffic. Gets it to Sanford between the circles to Bowen. Hey, they really get after you man-to-man. -man. A screen from Cricky. 13 to shoot. Bowen into the corner to Harding. Harding gets into the paint. Reverses dribble. Now a lob to the baseline. Nice catch by Cricky. Reverse layup blocked away. And out of bounds. It'll stay with Iowa, but only 3.5 uh, to go in the uh, shot clock. Boy, a cheerleader got mowed over. Well, she's smiling. Okay, good. Boy, she went. Uh, her feet were straight up in the air. Big Ben Cricky chasing a loose ball. Well, plus the defender. They both rolled into her. That can be dangerous work at times. You've got to be, att be attentive. And she was. She just couldn't back up from that baseline. All right. Hawks have three to shoot. Twelve and a half to go first half. Tie game at 14 with Maryland Baltimore County. Here's a lob into Cricky. He's fouled hard as he went for the dunk. Really pretty pass by Harding as Ben ran a little wheel route to the top of the key circle back to the rim and Harding laid it up there for him. Yeah, that's a good play. The Hawkeyes work on that in their practice and their shoot around. We've seen it. That, that usually that uh, tip shot and last second there were three seconds on the clock. That one worked to perfection. Free throws coming for Ben. Good hard foul by Lorca Lloyd and the Hawks miss another free throw. They're 0 for their first three. Iowa was 10 of 20 Saturday at Wells Fargo. So that's got to improve. Ricky will have one more to give the Hawks the lead back. Josh Dix comes into the game for Patrick McCaffrey. As the Hawks go smaller, second free throw is good by Ben. 15-14, Iowa has the lead. Now they can employ the press. The 1-2-2, one, two, two. Dix at front, in front. Gets a little deflection, but not enough to cause the turnover. Marlon Short into the game, a 6-6 guard forward. Hands off to Valentine. Inside it goes. Lloyd forces up a shot through heavy traffic. Great defense on the 6'9 Lloyd. A grad transfer. Sanford comes away with it now to Josh Dix. Throws right of the lane. Left of the lane that is to Cricky. Here's Sanford out top. His three no good. Cleared out by Marlon Short, the junior from Richmond, California. Another transfer. 
He drives inside right of the lane and a traveling call. Good defense by Brock Harding Once again. Once again, Brock moving his feet, forced him into an area that he wasn't comfortable in and called for the travel. Three turnovers on uh, the retrievers. The Hawks will try and extend that one-point advantage when we come back. 11.49 to play here in the first half. Pace has slowed somewhat, at least for these two. Nobody can make a shot. But hopefully that changes on the next possession. This is Hawkeye Basketball presented by Walmart Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited. We provide experiential travel and vacation planning for Hawkeye fans across the state. Contact one of our destination experts to start planning your next trip at duagency.com. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation? Our law firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. What happens when you call your insurance company? If you have water in your basement, press 1. Most big companies have a recorded message or an app. If you are in your living room and see sky when you look up, press 2. But when something bad happens, you just want to talk to a person. On a day like that, that phone line can end up feeling like a lifeline. At a time like that, you want a company like West Bend. Because the worst brings out our best. If there is a tree in your bedroom, press 3. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. If you're looking for the perfect place to host your holiday party, look no further. Come to Bumps at Finkbine. Have a good time as our new chef, Rick McCombs, provides an unforgettable experience. Don't forget about Thirsty Thursday Super Social Hour, where Bumps offers buy one, get one free on domestic beer bottles, house wine, well cocktails, and appetizers. Not only is Bumps the ideal spot for Hawkeye pregaming, they also offer a fantastic Sunday brunch. Bumps is your one-stop spot for great food and a great time. Go to Finkbine.com for more information. I'd say both teams are as are colder than the outside air, but you know what? Got up to 40 degrees today. Right now, the outside air uh, is hotter than uh, both teams. Talk about ice cold. Hawks won for their last 10, and uh, Maryland, Baltimore County won for its last seven. Bobby, yeah, it, it's just the way they're running up and down the court. There, the kids are getting tired. You see them when they're France making a substitution. They're coming in. They're gassed. So you just got to get a little bit better shot. They're, they're scrappy. Uh, the retrievers are on the defensive end, or they're hacking and slapping inside there. But you got to keep pounding. You got to keep pounding the ball inside. Owen Freeman coming into the game, and you got to keep pushing tempo. But more importantly, you got to continue to control the boards. Hawkeyes winning that battle right now, 16 to eight, with eight offensive rebounds, no offensive rebounds for UMBC. Hawks lead on the scoreboard, 15-14. Set up the best zone defense from home heating costs this winter. Tune up your furnace, seal up drafts around your home, and visit midamericanenergy.com. Find more ways to keep warm with less energy. 11.49 to go first half. Iowa 15 and University of Maryland, Baltimore County 14. Price Sanford brings his shooting irons into the game. Hopefully they're hot. red hot. He and Dix and Harding and Bowen box with four guards. And Owen Freeman. So the youngsters are out there and see if they can create some separation. 15 to shoot. Here's Harding for the Hawkeyes. Brock backs to dribble out now to Bowen. He's looking for Big Owen inside. The Big O. Harding finds him back door. Oh, it hit the net. But as the ball arrived, it got away from Owen. He went and got it, but he was held. And a foul called on uh, UMBC. Second foul on Ace Valentine, the freshman point guard. And number six, two. 16 fouls on UMBC. One more, 11 and a half to go in the first half. The Hawks could be parading to the foul line. Fresh 20 on the shot clock. Here's Freeman from Harding. Bowen, center of the floor. Back to Harding. He takes the dribble out near the midcourt stripe. It's a screen from Freeman. Heads into the corner to Bowen. His standstill three is no good. Strong rebound by Dix, but he couldn't get the tip in to go. Now a near steal by Bowen. They're diving on the floor for it. And out of bounds off to Sade. Great effort by Love it. number five. Outstanding effort by DeSante Bowen. First That's what Fran McCaffrey floor. wants to see. He was. He was the first guy on the floor there. UMBC a little late getting it, but DeSante just slid his, his uniform across the sideline. Both benches are going to be called on tonight, uh, the way this thing is going up and down the floor. Into the front court, Deion Brown. He's open for three. Stand still, three good. Rattled in. Somebody backed off on him. It was a defensive miss on that switch. 
He's our best player. He's yeah. got nine. Best shooter and now Baltimore, Maryland, Baltimore County back in front. 17-15. Dix, reverse dribble right at the foul line. Finds Freeman left of the lane. Whirls into the paint. Fouled again. That's team foul seven. Uh, Maryland, Baltimore County, and Owen will be at the line to shoot two. Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by UIHC. Guys, we know you take care of your loved ones, your family, but how much time do you spend taking care of yourself? The experts at UI Healthcare want you to take care of your urinary and sexual health. Visit UIHC.org slash urology and learn more. UIHC, a proud supporter of Hawkeye basketball. Bowen uh, Freeman, I should say, at 67% makes the first foul shot. And the second one here can tie it. The Hawks are two for five from the foul line. Make it three for six. 17-17. Three ties in the game. Ten and a half to go first half. There's Brown. A stop and go move around Harding. Pitches it right wing for Reese. Center of the floor for Banks Jr. He drives around Bryce Sanford. Bryce may have got a piece of that ball on the way up. Shot is missed. Harding races into the front court for the Hawkeyes. 10-17 to go. Tie game at 17 here in the first half. Dix puts the ball on the floor. Behind the back dribble. Gets into the paint. Step back. Jumper is good. Actually got knocked off stride by Marlon Short. Josh Dix showing, showing some toughness. Got that 10-footer to fall. Did a little fall away for Josh Dix. First basket of the evening for him and guys off the bench. With the ball right of the lane, Kadarius Smith. Shot fake. Drives into Freeman. And Freeman gets called for a blocking foul. A little bit off balance. This is the second team foul on the Hawkeyes. Not a shooting foul. Marlon Short comes out of the game. And uh, Sapp comes in. That would be Devin Sapp, junior from San Jose. They're from all over the country. And this UMBC roster. Underneath out of bounds play. And lobbed out near the timeline. Almost picked off by Harding. But Frank Emu gathers it in. Here's a pass inside, and Smith scores off the glass with the left hand. Pretty Kadarius move. Smith, I guess. 6-9, real pretty move. Over the top of Owen Freeman. Game tied at 19. Dix misses a three from the wing as the Hawks let it go early in the shot clock. Back run the visitors. Trying to break a 19-all tie. Oh, uh, Here's a slapping foul on Freeman after he charged in. He, he threw, a, threw an elbow into Owen's chest. Boy, that was obvious. Yeah, right in front of us. I think he knows he missed it. I think he knows he missed it. Yeah, Smith just threw his elbow, extended his elbow right into Owen's chest. He's just fighting back and now picks up his first second, six, second foul, so he's going to have to come out. Yeah, that's a bad call there. Kadarius Smith, 56% free thrower. That's, that's the good news. Oh, Owen's really upset about that call, and I don't blame him. Yeah, tough call. I mean, they're not going to get them all right, but that one was obvious. 19 all. Smith gets one more free throw. Lefty throws it up there, and it's good. 20 to 19. And the Hawks down one with the ball. Harding into the front court. Starters are getting an extended rest here. Harding goes inside and draws the foul, and he got raked hard across the bridge of the nose by one of three defenders. Free throws coming for Brock Harding. That's what he does. He creates contact. Quick. He's so quick with the ball in his hands. Now gets rewarded with two free throws. He can give Iowa the lead back. Hawk fans, you can drive your team to a win this season by filling up with unleaded 88 and quick rewards at any quick start location. Fuel up with eight gallons or more of unleaded 88. And you'll be automatically entered for a chance to win great prize packages throughout the season. Quick star, a proud partner of Hawkeye basketball. That foul was on Dion Brown. Here come the starters. Peyton Sanford, Tony Perkins, Patrick McCaffrey. Exiting our Dix and DeSante Bowen and Price Sanford. Brock Harding gets one more free throw. 80% free thrower. Made the first to tie the game at 20. Second one is good. And the teeter-totter is in full swing. Iowa in the lead by one. Press employed with McCaffrey at the point. Double team along the sideline. They do beat the 10-second clock violation. Now a reach-in foul is called on Cricky or Harding. Let's see. Tony caught 
reaching in there. Oh, Perkins, where'd he come from? I didn't it's it's see him in that mix, okay. 9.09 to play in the half. That's the fourth team foul on the Hawkeyes. Here's a drive inside by Big Kadarius. He knocked it in off the glass. Wow, just flip it up there. And Kadarius Smith rewarded for his effort. 22-21, Maryland-Baltimore County. McCaffrey jump stops, gives it to Cricky. Patrick and Ben have yet to get going offensively by those pesky defenders. Come up to about their shoulder blades. Nine to shoot. Here's Harding. Step back three. No good. A little long. And rebounded by, rebounded long by the retrievers. They drive it all the way in. The layup is good. Uncontested layup by Deion Brown. He's got 11. He's in double figures already. Three-point three point lead for the retrievers. Here's Peyton Sanford. Right of the lane to Cricky. they got to find a way to get Ben positioned inside. They're just fronting the post hard for the Hawkeyes to get the ball inside. Here's a lob to Cricky, Knocked away from him. Stolen away by Maryland Baltimore County. When that ball goes in the air, they're double teaming Cricky. Frank Emu came away with it. Here's a pitch into the corner to Smith. He shoots it and scores from the foul line. Oh, this is dizzying. 26-21. 6 0 run by. UMBC. Harding gets into the minute. right of the lane. Holds up. It's a nice cutting Tony Perkins, and he's grabbed. Foul called on Marcus Banks, Jr. That brings us to a timeout on the floor. Hawks all of a sudden find themselves down five. As the retrievers, there's some bite to their snarl right now. Hawk fans, Walmart, Blue Cross, Blue Shield knows you're here for every fadeaway, every alley-oop. Every buzzer beater. And Wellmark is here for every moment, too, with trusted health coverage, committed to making health care better. Learn more at wellmark.com, wellmark.com slash hoops. 26-21, the visitors from Maryland, Baltimore County, in front of the Hawkeyes, 745 to play till halftime. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga, breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type, with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org cancer. Join the Hawkeye Radio Network and Swarm for our Hawk Talk Bowl Preview Show. Swarming to the Citrus, live from the pub at the Point Orlando on December 31st from 1 to 2.30 p.m. Central Time. Join us for an in-depth analysis of the Hawkeyes versus the Tennessee Volunteers. Hawk fans traveling to Orlando, make sure to stop by the pub at the Point for the best fish and chips in the U.S., plus over 30 draft beers, including the Pour Your Own Beer Wall. It's the Hawk Talk Bowl Preview Show, December 31st on the Hawkeye Radio Network and the official YouTube channel of the Hawkeyes. Maryland, Baltimore County in the lead over the Hawkeyes. Quickness of uh, UMBC bothering the Hawks off and on. Iowa 26% shooting. 7 of 26. They're getting a lot of shots, none falling. And just 2 of 11 from uh, 3. Bobby, there have been 5 ties, 6 lead changes. But a 6-0 run here by UMBC has... The retrievers out in front. Boy, I don't know what's, what's up with the shooting. The Hawkeyes just one of their last 12. And I don't know if this quickness and little guys are just getting up underneath the shooter. We know the Hawkeyes are better shooters than what they're showing here in this game here at only 27%. So a couple of free throws here by Tony. Get it going. Get your press going. See if you can get some steals. Get something easy. Yeah, the next foul on UMBC will be team foul 10. Hawks are getting to the foul line. Tony makes the first or six of nine. Right now, missed their first three, but perfect since then. Second one takes flight and right through. 26-23, Maryland-Baltimore County. Let's see if the press can work some turnovers. 
Now they get it across. Kadari Smith drives high post right. Double team backs up now, gets it back out front for Frank Emu. Emu with a crossover dribble. Cricky giving chase. Frank beats him into the paint. Jump passes to the wing with eight to shoot. Here's Smith baseline left. He's going to force here. Now push up jump shot is bouncing around and no good. Rebounded by Peyton Sanford. A lot of contact, but no foul. Sap got underneath him. Here's Tony all the way. Misses the left-handed layup. Knocked out of bounds by Sap. It'll be Iowa basketball. Coming in with 7.09 to go and Iowa trailing 26-23. Max Lorca Lloyd, the 6'9 grad transfer, comes and gets Kadarius Smith. Smith's got seven points and many of those in the 6-0 run. Here's a dunk by McCaffrey on the bounce. Pass inbounds from Brock Harding. Brian McCaffrey masterful at drawing up those underneath out of bound plays. Easy basket. Indeed it was. Now here's a set shot three. No good. Perkins mistimed his jump. Rebounded by Maryland Baltimore County's Bryce Johnson. Long three banked in by Frank Emu. <laughs> Mansfield, Texas native, gives his team a four-point lead. Harding with a great move, gets inside, throws it to the corner. Patrick McCaffrey misses a three. Perkins with a strong rebound up and in. Tony went up and threw a guy two or three inches taller and put it back up and in. Now it's a two-point game. UMBC 29, the Hawks 27, 620 to go. First half. Turning the corner, getting into the lane and losing the ball out of bounds is Bryce Johnson. And it looks like it's going to stay with the retrievers. I, I didn't see that ball hit any Hawkeye, but apparently it did. 18 to shoot. And nothing uh, pressing there. Emu throws it inbounds for Lorca Lloyd. Now inside a shot up, no good from close range. Missed by Devin Sapp. Hawks with a clear out. Perkins all the way, lays it up and in. Nice pass by Sanford. Caught him in stride in the lane. Timeout asked for by UMBC. Back-to-back -back baskets by Tony Perkins, and that's what the Hawkeyes need to do. Get the defensive board. Get it out and run before this defense can get set. Get some easy ones right there. Tony Perkins, a drive to the hoop with a layup. This holiday season, Iowa basketball is partnering with U.S. Cellular by giving the gift of connection. The Hawks and U.S. Cellular encourage fans to support Iowa's nonprofit organizations by donating new sports gear, art supplies, or family games. You can deliver your donation to the local U.S. Cellular store in your community through New Year's Eve day. Your support is very much appreciated. Let's show Iowa how the gift of connection can truly impact the next generation. 6.02 to go in the first half. Hawks are gauging that pressure both offensively and defensively now by the retrievers and they're better posture defensively and they got the running game going now. got the running game going that's what you got to do and then right now coming out of the timeout you get the one two two take some time off the clock make the retriever think a little bit Bryce Johnson gets into the front court with a basketball now to Frank Emu here's a baseline drive by Reese bad pass turnover stolen away by Harding beautifully done by Brock he suckered him right into that one now Brock had nowhere to get up in the air and nowhere to go with it Eventually gets it to Peyton Sanford. Now to Tony Perkins. Shot fake. He drives inside. Finds Cricky baseline. Jump shot is good. Great ball movement there by the Hawkeyes. The best of the game so far. It was unselfish pass that time. Tony Perkins over to Ben Cricky on the short corner. About 12 feet on the right side. Iowa back in front. 31-29. Seven lead changes. 5-10 to go. First half. Hawks by two. Another, another near steal by Harding. Iowa's man-to-man -man is tightened up a little bit. Here's a drive all the way. Reverse layup is good. A beautiful move by Bryce Johnson. Just bobbed and weaved his way through heavy traffic. Right wing to the basket and scored. McCaffrey hits a jump shot right back. The Hawkeye run game looking better. Hawks are hustling into the front court and then finding an open teammate. Good cut, Patrick. Indeed. Now here's a throwaway by... UMBC's Bryce Johnson. He threw it to the baseline. Nobody home. Hawks now four of their last four once they got that running game going. That's what they need. Iowa with the lead at 33-31. Now, after turnover number five on the retrievers, the Hawks with a chance to add to that slim advantage with 438 to go on the half. 
Cricky comes out, receives a pass right of the circle for McCaffrey. Patrick finds Perkins. He's got the hot hand here. Tony's covered up, 12 to shoot. Now he takes the dribble inside, hits the floater. Little teardrop from 12 feet away, just inside the foul line. Keep feeding that horse, man. He, Tony wants the hay. He's on a roll, as the Hawkeyes are, five of their last five field goals made. And the Hawks lead at 35 31, 4 10 to go, first half. Here's another pass deflected Get away. Going. Stolen away by Perkins. Leads a three on two the other way. Harding draws contact, no whistle, but scores anyway. 37 31, Hawks up six. Brock Harding with a suspended uh, jump up in the air, holds your ground, and knocks a little floater off the glass. And the retrievers are a little sideways right now. They're, they've taken a pretty good punch in the nose. 12 Compliments runs. of Tony Perkins. Here's Reese, throws it right wing, just seven to shoot, three and a half to play in the game. Outstanding defense by Iowa. Finish out the possession now. Shot fakers, a drive inside, a missed dunk. A missed dunk by Johnson. Tipped and controlled by Cricky. Sanford all the way for the Hawkeyes. Throws it back to Tony Perkins. Layup good. 3.20 to go on the half, and the Hawkeyes are on a roll. 39-31. Ten points now, Tony Perkins. That's part of that 14-2 run we're in the middle of. Reese into the corner it goes for Bryce Johnson. He missed the dunk attempt. Lost the ball on the way up. Here's a lob in the lane. Shot up and good. Beautiful pass uh, that time by Marlon Short. Found uh, the big man Lorca Lloyd breaking to the basket and he laid it up and in. That ends the Iowa run. Here's Cricky double teamed to Sanford. Out top for McCaffrey. Hesitates with the three, passes it up. 15 to shoot, 247 to play in that. Oh, great pass by Harding. A no looker again. He's good for one or two of those a game. And Ben Cricky hits a practice layup. Nice move though. Just keep, keep moving and Brock Harding will find you. That was a beautiful no look pass. A no look bounce back pass, no less. Hawks are back up 8 41 33. 220 to go in the first half. It's a battle of physical wills here right now. Both teams are streaking up and down the floor. There's another elbow push off that doesn't get called on Ace Valentine. Misses the jumper in the lane. Perkins clears it. Tony all the way. Leaves it to McCaffrey trailing. Three ball, no good. Peyton Sanford with a rebound. Back up and good by Peyton. Timeout asked for by Maryland Baltimore County. Jim Ferry can wait no longer. He didn't want to burn one. But couldn't wait for the officials' timeout. The Hawks have streaked out to a 10-point lead. This is Hawkeye basketball, presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Our mission at Openall is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon called. It's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See Credit Union for details. Hawkeyes much more in a rhythm and a flow now. They lead Maryland Baltimore County 43 33 after uh, seven ties and seven lead changes. Uh, the Hawks have gotten it under control for a moment for the moment. Up 10, 43 
33-12-2 run by the Hawks for the last 250, Bobby. Looking good. And doing it on off the boards, Gary. The Hawkeyes out-rebounding Maryland-Baltimore County 25-12. Allowed just one offensive rebound, one by Bryce Johnson. The Hawkeyes have gobbled up 12 offensive rebounds. They're taking good care of the basketball. This frenetic pace, just one turnover by the Hawkeyes. They've assisted 12 of 17 made baskets. So finally, getting into a little bit of a rhythm here. Brock Harding has been the, uh, the key to this rally here in the uh, end of the first half. Now's your chance to make a difference. Join the swarm and partner with Iowa men's basketball program and serving charities in eastern Iowa. Learn more at iowaswarm.com. Hawks are man-to-man as we start this possession at the Hawkeye and Maryland, Baltimore County with the ball. Banks, Marcus Banks Jr. back in the game. Leaves it for Frank Emu as they spread the court. Here's a catch high post left by Kadarius Smith, who's back in. Coach Ferry wanted to get him in and finally had to call a timeout. Baseline right drive all the way to the basket. Now trapped underneath it. Reverse layup. Good. Boy, what a move by this Dion Brown. He's the real deal. 13 points. Iowa's lead chopped to eight. Good defense there, but Brown made a great play. Found a way to squeeze through there. Tony Perkins had him trapped on the baseline. Cricky with a catch inside. A score and a foul called. Finally, Cricky was in front of the defender. Worked his way around. Ben's been working hard. They've been front of that post all night. he got a big smile on his face. And he said, finally, they get a, a, an easy pass to me. And he's got a chance for an one with a minute 23 to play. First half, Iowa back up 10. Beauty of that right there was the foul, was the third foul on their best player, the guard, Deion Brown, number 13. Yep. They ran a risk getting him back in there. Now he's got to sit out as Cricky toes the line. He's got nine first half points. Make it 10. Iowa's lead is its largest at 46, 35, minute 20 to play. Into the front court, Marlon Short. Now a bounce pass for Kadarius Smith. They overload that far side along the sideline. Now around a screen comes Bryce Johnson. A bounce pass knocked away by Perkins. Now stolen away by Peyton Sanford. Perkins, he's been in the middle of everything defensively. Here's Dix back in the game. Here's to Harding. Harding drives in right of, right of the lane and just flipped it up there. And the soft roll... Off the left of the iron, curled back down through the coil. Six points now, Brock Harding. Here's a give and go and a miss layup. One of the few screen and rolls we've seen out of Maryland, Baltimore County. Kadarius Smith missed the layup, but he'll get free throws. With Iowa leading by 13, 43.7 to play in the first half. Stay tuned for our halftime show, sponsored by Bud Light. Bud Light, a proud supporter of Hawkeye Athletics. Easy to drink and easy to enjoy. It would, go, it would go good with a Wimmer's broader hot dog right now at the Gamer at Home. Wimmer's premium quality hot dogs and sausages will score with family and friends. Take the highest quality beef and pork, combine it with natural spices, and you get the best tasting hot dog or brat like I had before the game tonight. Wimmer's the official hot dog of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Smith makes the first free throw, the lefty with 10 points. Second one is short. Deadens off the front of the rim. That was a tired free throw there. Yeah, you bet. He took a deep breath before he shot that one. But this pace has been incredibly fast. How about Brock Harding? Energizer Bunny. He Player just keeps going so and going. He was. hooks a pass into the corner to McCaffrey. Patrick, baseline cut to Perkins. Gets it to him. Layup good by Tony. Tony's in double figures with 10. Iowa leads it by 14. What a six, seven minute run here. 50 to 36, Iowa with 13 seconds to go. They'll play for the last shot. One on one, now a drive in the lane and a foul called on Iowa. Hawks had one to give. And they're going to get Brock Harding for the grab. That was a smart play. You bet it was, knowing that you uh, had a foul to give right there. So 5.1 to go in the first half. Emu will inbound. Hawks have everybody fronted underneath. They set a couple screens. And they throw it out front to Kadarius Smith. He's going to have to force one up at the buzzer. Drives hard left side. Shot is up. No good. Air ball. Great defense by Iowa on that last possession. Halftime. Entertaining basketball. Iowa 50. And the University of Maryland, Baltimore County 36. 
Hawks trail by as many as uh, eight, if I got my notes right. Six for sure. And now lead it by 14 with an incredible run. Hawks hit four of their last four shots, made their free throws, and on a 12-2 run have a 14-point lead over the Retrievers from the East Coast. If you or someone you know needs support now or this holiday, call or text 988. Call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. At the half, the Hawks have the lead at 50-36. Back for a Bud Light Budweiser recap in a minute. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. This has been the well-marked Blue Cross and Blue Shield first half on the Hawkeye Sports Network. This is the Bud Light Halftime Show. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. A lot of water drank in that first half by both teams. Back and forth, up and down. We told you these are two of the quicker teams in shooting. In pace of play, number one is Maryland, Baltimore County. The Hawks are 14th. They don't waste a lot of time. The Hawkeyes, though, uh, once they got their uh, half-court game going, Bobby, the, the break was there also most of that last 10 minutes of the first half. But uh, when they got this uh, quickness figured out, uh, they really attacked the glass and the rim and got easy baskets. Yeah, it's a quick team. They started out quick shooting threes on the Hawkeyes, made four of their first four three-point field goals, got a four-point lead there, 12-8, to eight, and then Peyton dropped a three to, to bring it within one. But... Uh, they battled, and uh, the Hawkeyes finally got it going. I got to credit the bench, got to credit Brock Harding coming in to uh, his quickness to change the tempo of the game. He dropped in the three assists, just one turnover. He's the only turnover by the Hawkeyes. When you play this fast, Gary, that is amazing that you commit just one turnover. But the, the story of the game has been the Hawkeye dominance on the backboards, winning that battle 27 to 12. That is amazing rebounding stat. That'll please Fran the most. And they're getting to the foul line. They've made eight of 11. More on that in just a bit. The Hawkeyes shot. 47 and a half percent after a slow start. UMBC's last lead was 29-27 with six and a half minutes to go in the first half. Then the Hawkeyes got that defense in sync. Iowa outscored the Retrievers 25 to 7 in the final six and a half minutes. And it was defense, Tony Perkins, Brock Harding, all with terrific floor games that turned the tide. And the Hawks lead it by 14 at the break, 50 to 36. The Bud Light Halftime Show continues in a moment. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Royal Flooring has everything for your home from the floors up. Did you know we also feature appliances, custom cabinetry to update your kitchens, bathrooms, and more? Yep, we're more than just flooring. Shop Royal Flooring today. 
Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Does your company attire make you feel like you're always fourth and long? It's time for a change. Hand the ball off to Authentic Brand and watch your team transform into MVPs. On game days, our team dresses like champions in Authentic Brand. Ensure that your company's reputation remains untarnished by using nothing but the label specifically designed to display your company's identity. Ask your supplier for Authentic Brand products and see for yourself why it's more than just a label. It's a statement. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon. When you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments, your bacon called, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loans subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Iowa. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. Halftime, it's Iowa 50, the University of Maryland, Baltimore County 36. Halftime coverage courtesy of Bud Light. Bud Light, a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Let's check out the uh, Charity Stripe recap, courtesy of Latham Seeds. Latham High Tech Seeds. The Hawks have a diverse combination of talent, and at Latham High Tech Seeds, you'll find the most diverse portfolio in the industry. Diversify for success at LathamSeeds.com. Hawks got to the foul line a whole lot more than UMBC in that first half, making 8 of 11 attempts from the charity stripe. That's 73%. Maryland, Baltimore County, just two of four. That's our charity stripe recap, courtesy of Latham Seeds. Now the rest of the stats, courtesy of hy V. Score big savings with the all-new, totally free hy V Perks membership. Hawks shoot 20 of 42. That number improved a lot in the final six and a half minutes when they outscored the Retrievers 25 to 7. They got it done on the defensive end. The Hawks 20 of 42 from the field, just two of 13 from three. They keep driving the ball inside. For uh, UMBC, 14 of 29, so the Hawks got off 13 more shots. Hopefully that continues. 48% shooting for the Retrievers, six of 10 from three. They averaged seven, and they hit four of their first five, so the Hawks had that pretty well covered up in the final 12 minutes of the period. For Iowa, two double-figure scores. Tony Perkins with 12 plus four rebounds. Ten for Ben Crick, Cricky and five boards. Peyton Sanford with eight, six for Brock Harding, and three assists. Great floor game for Brock off the bench. Owen Freeman got two fouls in the first half, played only seven and a half minutes. So he's going to be looking to get going. He's got five rebounds, though, and four total points. For UMBC, leading scorer, one in double figures. That's Deion Brown. He's got 13. He's their leading scorer on the season at 17 a game. The, the guy can flat out shoot. Hit five of seven from the field, including all three of his threes. But to Bobby's point, the big stat, Iowa's out rebounded. Uh, Maryland, Baltimore County, 27 to 12. The Hawks have 14 more paint scores and nine more points off turnovers. That's our halftime stat recap, courtesy of High V. Hawks 50 and Maryland, Baltimore County, 36. Bud Light Halftime Show continues after this pause. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! Yeah. 
or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Soon we'll go from pool back to school. The end of summer is a total bummer. But yesterday I went shopping and got all the essentials. New backpack, new kicks. Oh, and this is huge. Mom finally got rid of our basic internet and switched us to Extreme. The new Wi-Fi is amazing. Go back to school with best and fast internet from Extreme. Get speeds from 100 meg up to 1 gig and Wi-Fi 360 Pro with advanced toll home coverage. Call 844-4FASTER or shop online at Extreme.com. When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bowes, pediatric neurologist with University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at uihc.org. Bud Light Halftime Show continues. How about a U.S. Bank scoreboard update? A couple of other Big Ten teams in action tonight. Nebraska leads North Dakota in Lincoln by 5, 56-51. They're midway through the second half. Northwestern's out to a 25-10 lead in the Hall of Fame uh, Classic down in Phoenix. They lead Arizona State 25-10 midway through the first half. Ranked teams, fifth-ranked Connecticut trails at Seton Hall 61-48 with Six minutes to play in that game, and Duke and Baylor having a shootout. Duke leads by two, 63-61 over Baylor with 5-10 to go in the game. The Hawkeye women host Loyola of Chicago right here at Carver Hawkeye Arena tomorrow afternoon at 5 o'clock. That's our U.S. Bank scoreboard update. Bobby has a Hawkeye coach alongside on the first half. In just a minute, Iowa leads 50-36 as we get set to go to the second period. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Hey everyone, Chef Brandon here. The Burger Shed features signature handcrafted burgers, real ice cream shakes, and machine shed classics you already know and love, like the award-winning pork tenderloin and smoked turkey Reuben sandwiches. Plus everyone's favorite dessert, the apple dumpling. With plenty of big screen TVs and several local beers on draft, Burger Shed is the perfect place to watch your favorite sports team on game day. And every day, burgers, beers, and a whole bunch of BS. Burger Shed, Bass Pro Drive, Altoona. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. 
Hamilton leading 50-36 over Maryland, Baltimore County. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Basketball. Bobby Hanson, uh, before we go to the second half, has uh, Iowa assistant coach Matt Gatons alongside on the Hawks' 14-point lead. They're brought to you by your great Iowa John Deere dealers, including Bowden Steiner Implement in New Hampton. Matt, UMBC came out firing from three. It took you guys a little, little time to get going. How were you able to do that? Yeah, we just turned up the defensive intensity a little bit. You know, they made, made some tough ones, but, you know, we told them coming into this game, you know, these guys to have a chance to hang around. They're going to have to make threes, and they're a confident group that a um, bunch of bucket getters, and they, they play confident at the green light. So it took a little minute a minute to get it figured out, but, you know, I'm really happy with our intensity the last 10 minutes. Seems like second unit, Brock Harding got the, got the rhythm of the offense going with, with his quickness and getting the running game going. Absolutely. You know, we got, we got more stops and rebounds and turnovers and runouts, but we did a great job sharing it, and Brock does, always does a, does a great job of that. You know, 15 assists to one turnover is incredible. So more we can keep that up here in the second half, you know, it would be really beneficial. All right, thanks, Coach. Yep. Matt Gaines with Bobby Hanson, brought to you by your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Hawkeye basketball. And the Hawks get the ball to start the second half and hopefully build on that 14-point lead. McCaffrey, Perkins, Sanford, Owen Freeman back in the game along with Ben Cricky. There's Peyton with a shot fake. Bounce inside that didn't quite reach Freeman. It was picked off. Turnover Iowa. They're taking very good care of the ball to this point. So Baltimore, Maryland, Baltimore County works a turnover to start the second period. 30 seconds gone. 50-36 Iowa. Kadarius Smith to uh, left wing jump shot. No good by Marcus Banks Jr. And it's cleared by Perkins. Hawks are running. Wide open look for three is McCaffrey. Good. Nice find. Great assist by Peyton Sanford. And Iowa now jettisons out to a 53-36 lead. Been quite a run here since the six-minute mark of the first half. One minute gone in the second period. Here's a blocked oh. shot by Owen Freeman, but a foul call. And there wasn't enough body contact there to worry about a foul. The young official comes over and Fran gives it to him, and he's taking it. Kind of jumped into Owen. Yeah, Owen was on top of the ball. That's too bad. 53-36 free throws coming for the lefty Smith, and he makes the first. Nine points for Kadarius Smith. Here comes Freeman out of the game with a right smile on his face. Too bad. Too bad. Fun to watch him play. Now we got to watch him sit. That's no fun. Huh. 53-37. Well... Second free throws, no good. Rebounded, though, by UMBC. Shot up, no good. Cricky with a strong board off the miss by Devin Sapp. And the Hawks are going to have to play without their star young post player. Forward, Perkins. Had a great first half. He gets the ball left of the lane to Cricky. Cricky double-teamed. They find Sanford open on the wing. He nails a three. Got him out. So the Hawks start out two for two from distance. Yeah, good find. Good passing by the Hawkeyes. Cricky over to Tony Perkins outside to Brock Harding and then Peyton Sanford for the three. Hawkeyes up 19. Here's a foul on a drive right of the lane. And let's see who is this on Harding. Yeah, they're going to get Brock Harding Peyton. for the... Looks like Peyton's got number 2-0. Oh, two, right, two. All right. Third foul on Peyton. Blocking foul on Peyton Sanford. So he has to leave with three. That's enough of that. A minute and a half gone, second period. Not a shooting foul. Valentine will trigger it in. And a steal by... Almost a steal by Brock Harding. Stepped on the sideline. Good hustle. Boy, oh, he does. Good anticipation. Fly. Like he's on a trapeze. He's flying all over the place. Inbounds. It will come from the uh, the bench of the visitors. UMBC. Marcus Banks gets it into Valentine. Drives into the paint. Throws up a tough shot. Strong rebound. Up no good. Boy, a heck of a rebound by Kadarius Smith, but he short stringed it. McCaffrey leads the break back. He throws it away. Out of control. Smith is heading the other way and dunks it through. The lefty with an easy slam down. 56-39. Iowa's lead is 17. 
Unforced error there by the Hawkeyes. Just their third turnover. Patrick drives it hard to the left baseline. Now throws it back to Tony Perkins. Perkins top of the circle. Pull up jumper by Tony. No good. That one had too much mustard on it. A rebound and a run out by Marcus Banks. Pass is deflected, but right to Kadarius Smith baseline. Knocked away from behind by Harding. Here's a steal by Harding and Bowen. Ahead to Perkins. Dunk. Great play by Harding again with a poke away. And so many deflections on Saturday. More here tonight by the Hawkeye guard court. Every time he comes in, he does something positive. 58-39. Standstill three. No good. And Harding had the rebound. Lost it. Now it's out of bounds. Off of UMBC. Smallest Jeff was in the middle of that. <laughs> Smallest guy on the floor. Maybe the toughest guy on the floor. Out battled Deion Brown for that one. And to the floor. And Deion Brown tried to scrape it loose to get a basket. But Brock right there to kick it away. And Brown touched it last going out of bounds. 58-39. Iowa has its biggest lead at 19. Not quite three minutes gone in the second half. Have they taken Maryland Baltimore County's best shot? That was at the start of the game when they hit four of five threes. Perkins will try a three. No good strong. And cleared out the weak side by Max Lorca Lloyd. Into the front court comes Deion Brown. He's their leading scorer with 13. Bounces right of the lane for Lorca Lloyd. Lloyd, chest bumping with Cricky, lost the ball. Perkins with the steal. Turnover, retrievers. Here's a three. In and out, no good. Offered up there. Nice looking shot all the way by Harding. But it comes back out. 16 and a half to play. Brown drives in on Perkins. Step back jumper, no good. Great defense by Tony. Solid. Stayed right with him. Here's Harding with a bounce pass in transition. Bowen's layup is blocked. Dasani gets his rebound. His own miss. Here's Patrick from the corner. No good. And the ball out of bounds. Touched last by Deion Brown. It'll stay with the Hawkeyes. Ben Cricky with a good job reaching over the top of the 6 4 guard and knocking it off their star guard. I'll tell you what, man, they're strapping. They're not going to go away. These, get, these uh, retrievers just keep getting after it. He's bringing in some new bodies here. So Hawks got to keep plugging away and just keep pounding it inside a few more times. Wear them down. Bryce Johnson and Marlon Short come in off the bench for UMBC. Here's Harding for three. That's off the right of the iron. No good. Nice pass by Crick. He caught him in stride, but he missed the jump shot. 16.05 to play. Iowa by 19. 58-39. Short. Long three on the way. No good. Way short by Marcus Banks Jr. Perkins with a rebound. Hawks are running. Layup. No good Down by it. Tony. But fouled from behind. And this might a be a goaltending. What a pass by Brock Harding. Is With he going to be hand. fun to watch for the next few Counted. years? Yeah, left hand, no look. Do they count it? A foul and an and one coming for Tony Perkins. So credit the basket. Makes it 60 to 39, Iowa by 21. And a free throw for Tony Perkins when we come back. Hawkeye basketball from Carver Hawkeye Arena, sponsored by the Iowa Lottery. Join the Iowa Lottery VIP Club and enter to win game day tickets to see Iowa men's basketball with the countdown to Carver promotion. Play Hawkeye Gold scratch tickets today from the Iowa Lottery. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield, a courtesy of Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. Criminal charge or complicated family law situation? Our law firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. Everyone knows the BBB is the Better Business Bureau, but depending on what you need, it's the Better Plumber Bureau, the Better Auto Mechanic Bureau, the Better Accountant Bureau. That's because the BBB connects people with businesses they can trust. So think of the BBB as the better check that business out first so you don't get ripped off bureau. Be smart. Always look for the BBB seal because it's looking out for you. Find a better business anytime at BBB.org. Hey, folks, this is Jeff Brender from The Machine Shed. We're all about comfort food at The Machine Shed. Indulge in our classic fried chicken, which is prepared with our own secret spices. Our try our cattleman sirloin tips. Featuring certified Angus beef, served with our famous mushroom stuffing that has onions and Swiss cheese, all topped with a garlic herb sauce. Come experience the taste of home cooking. 
at the Machine Shed. I-80 and Hickman Road, Urbandale. And I-80 and Northwest Boulevard, Davenport. Royal Flooring has everything for your home from the floors up. Did you know we also feature appliances, custom cabinetry to update your kitchens, bathrooms, and more? Yep, we're more than just flooring. Shop Royal Flooring today. Hawkeyes with a 10-3 run to start the second half have opened up a 14-point intermission lead and now to 21 at 60-39. to They did review that uh, ultimately goal 10 call. All plays under review this season are courtesy of Athletico. Physical therapy is the thing you're told to do after medication, x-rays, or surgery, but what if the best way to fix your pain is to start where you normally finish? And the sooner you start with physical therapy, you change everything. It all starts with no prescription needed at Atletico. Tony Perkins got bumped from behind on that fast break layup that uh, ball did not go in, but they did call goaltending. Somebody uh, grabbed the rim or slapped the bank board. Either way, it counts. Tony's with 16 points down, a free throw coming, and he drops it right through. 61-39 Iowa. The Hawks keeping the pressure on here, Bobby, at both ends. Yeah, solid uh, start here to the second half. The defense has been outstanding, holding uh, UMBC to just one of eight by my count. There's a traveling call now. Is Bryce Johnson backed into uh, heavy traffic, a double team in the lane, stumbled. Defender got underneath him. That's 10 turnovers on the retrievers. So just three for the Hawkeyes, taking outstanding care of the basketball. Hawks with nine more points off turnovers and 16 more paint scores. Smot and Rose happy about that. Here's Cricky scoring again in the lane. He just muscled his way in on the big fella. Max Lorca Lloyd, all 6'9", 230 pounds, and Ben took it right to him. Cricky now starting to mount some numbers. He's got 11. Iowa's leading score at 17 again. We played five minutes here in the second half. 63-39. The Hawkeyes with the lead. More points off turnovers. Just five to shoot. Hawks are in a zone. There's a spin move into the lane, a fourth shot at the buzzer, not quite at the buzzer, up no good, and the rebound retrieved by the retriever, up and in. Nice play by Regimontis Sunis, who's just into the game. At the other end, the Hawks beat him down the floor, and Desante Bowen, Desante Bowen with the dunk. And now Tony Perkins forces a turnover on the full court press, 11 turnovers. This time, uh, flipping it over was Frank Emu. 65-41 Hawks. I didn't see this coming. Now a good start to the second half here by the Hawkeye. That's, that's a really good sign. You're paying attention. You're getting after it. You had a slow start to the game with all those threes that dropped for UMBC, but it's been all Iowa Hawkeyes from about the midpoint of the first half forward. 14-39 to play in the game. Jim Ferry asks for timeout. Maryland, Baltimore County. Needs to stop the blood from flowing or getting worse. 65-41. The Hawks, from the six-minute mark in the first half, have really uh, ratcheted up the defensive pressure and now has forced uh, 11 turnovers on uh, Maryland-Baltimore County. That's resulted in 13 Iowa points. Hawks have flipped it over just three times. We'll back with more here from Carver Hawkeye Arena in a minute. Iowa with a comfortable 24-point lead after leading by 14 at the break. Iowa basketball is presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at High V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the High V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the High V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for High V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Right now, you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering a Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit IALottery.com slash VIP. 
after I drop the kids off, I have to run across town for a meeting, hit the gym during lunch, Jake has soccer tonight, and Emily has gymnastics? Oh, did I turn on the crockpot this morning? <laughs> With a never-ending to-do list, it's easy to forget something important, like setting up a life insurance plan with Shelter Insurance. Your local shelter agent can show you how to create a safety net for your family. Don't let life get in the way of what's most important. Visit shelterinsurance.com to learn more. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. Hawkeyes keeping the pressure on, leading 65-41 over Maryland, Baltimore County. 14:39 to play in the game. Welcome back to Carver Hawkeye Arena. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Iowa basketball: Harding, McCaffrey, Cricky, Sonny Bowen, and Tony Perkins on the floor. And it comes to Cricky, right back to Harding. He slides down the left side of the lane, reverses dribble to high post left. Now to Perkins in the corner. Tony, nice bounce feed to Cricky. He stripped on his way up to take the shot. Nice steal and a layup at the other end. Good. Boy, well done at both ends by Bryce Johnson. Came up with the steal and raced to the other end and got the score. Hawkeye's lead cut to 65-43. A rare Hawkeye turnover. Yeah, just their fourth of the game, Gary. That is outstanding at this pace. Rock Harding short with a jump shot. High post right and rebounded by the Retrievers into the front court. Comes Emu. Correction, Marlon Short. Out top to Sunnis. Reggie Amata Sunnis. He's out of Lithuania. And a pass deflected out of bounds. It'll stay with, uh, with the Retrievers. Now Owen Freeman, who picked up his third foul to start the second half, comes back in, hopefully to stay on the floor with Josh Dix and Peyton Sanford Perkins. Cricky and McCaffrey come out of the lineup for the Iowa, uh, Hawkeyes and a well-deserved breather. Uh, here's a pass that goes into the backcourt, and Harding's the first guy to run it down. Lays it up and in at the other end. Unforced error thrown into the backcourt from underneath the basket. Nobody went after it other than Harding. It's like finding a $5 bill on the sidewalk. <laughs> Pick it up. Put it in your pocket. Here's a missed jump, uh, jump shot left of the lane. Rebound tipped by Freeman to Peyton Sanford. Peyton all the way down the left side of the lane. He throws it away. And then re-stolen by the Hawkeyes Harding to Desani Bowen. Desani reverse layup. No good. That might have been partially blocked and knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Reggie Amata Sunnis. Emu comes out of the lineup for the Retrievers. Smith is in replacing Lorca Lloyd. Uh, we've got uh, a question on the shot clock that says 16 remaining, 16 seconds. They're not going to need it. No, no. Neither team needs 16 seconds. Oh, they put it back to 26. Extra time for the Hawks. Like I said, they won't need it. Dix on a nice cut. Harding with another assist on the inbounds play. And the Hawks get an easy layup from Josh Dix. Iowa up now 26, 69-43. Baseline jumper is no good early in the shot clock by Marlon Short. Cleared by the Hawkeyes. Another great pass by Harding and Dix with another layup. Top of the circle to a baseline cutting Dix. And he whizzed that thing in there so fast, nobody moved, defense or offense. An impressive pass with the left hand by Brock Harding. That is nine assists of the 22 that the Hawkeyes have. It is 71-43, make it 71-45. A nice baseline drive by Kadarius Smith. He had position, the Hawkeye defense had to let him go. Harding for Dix. Hawkeyes quickly back into the front court, leading 71-45. Bowen pops up a jumper, no good, right of the lane, rebounded by the retrievers, Marlon Short. Ace Valentine brings it down the floor. Smith, right of the lane, jump shot is no good, strong. Sanford with a rebound. Fran McCaffrey yelling, run, run, run. Here's Owen Freeman held that transition break. Jersey grabbed there by Kadarius Smith. Bryce Sanford comes in for Iowa. Short and Johnson leave for... Nice applause for Brock Harding. Indeed, as well as should be. The Retrievers send in a couple fresh bodies. Bowen. Looking to get it in, does so to Owen Freeman. Owen dunks it down. 
spun to the lane, rolled back to the baseline, had a free run to the basket, and jammed at home. That's got to feel good for him. He hasn't played that much. He's got nice moves around the basket. Good footwork and finish at the rim. Now blocked shot by Owen at the other end. He's averaging two blocks a game. Timeout on the floor. It'll be a UMBC basketball when we return. 11.52 to play in the game, and the Hawkeyes on cruise control, leading 73-45. to Hawkeye basketball is brought to you by your Central Midwest Honda dealers. Here's a lineup, Hawk fans, that's ready to throw it down. Honda HRV, the CRV, Passport, and Pilot, ready to pounce. See your Central Midwest Honda dealer. Visit wonderful supporters of Hawkeye basketball like Zimmerman Honda in Moline. Say hi to our buddy Mark Zimmerman. I'm sure he's here somewhere in the crowd tonight. Usually see Mark courtside. And the exciting moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments. Well, Mark, Blue Cross Blue Shield is here for it all as your health care champion, making health care more comfortable with more choices, more comfortable, more affordable, and more choices. For care and peace of mind, no matter what comes your way, find the plan right for you at wellmark.com slash hoops. Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield brings you Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited. We provide experiential travel and vacation planning for Hawkeye fans across the state. Contact one of our destination experts to start planning your next trip at duagency.com. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation, Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. Do you trust your insurance agent? Do you trust your insurance company? Well, you'd better. Because all they've really sold you is a promise. A promise to be there when things go bad. To step up and put everything back the way it was. So, if you don't trust your insurance company, maybe it's time to find one you do trust. West Bend. The worst brings out our best. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon called, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loans subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. Welcome back to our Hawkeye basketball coverage. Iowa 73 and Maryland Baltimore County 45 with 11.52 to play in the game. Some of the football players here tonight, we see Cade McNamara, Eric All, Luke Lachey, and others. Join us for the Hawk Talk Bowl preview show, Swarming to the Citrus, live on New Year's Eve afternoon here on the Hawkeye Radio Network, 1 o'clock to 2.30 p.m. Central Time from the pub at the Point Orlando. Of course, if you're headed to Orlando, please stop by and join us for our Hawk Talk Bowl preview of Iowa, Tennessee. Hear from the coaches and players. We'll have a few special guests stop by. Tune in on the Hawkeye Radio Network and the official Hawkeyes YouTube channel and watch for our daily podcast from Orlando starting December 28th. UMBC basketball. Here's a corner three. Good. Peyton Sanford got there a little late. Couldn't stop the shot of Sapp. And Sapp knocked it down. Devin Sapp, 6'4", junior. First basket for him in a while. 73-48, Iowa. Ah, turnover. Unforced error by the Hawkeyes. Just four on the game for Iowa. It's been a big stat tonight. Here's a baseline drive, a throw into the corner. Another three. Good again. That's that guy again, Deion Brown. So back-to-back threes to start this segment by UMBC, and it's 73-51. Like you said in the first half, you can't take these guys. You can't let up on these guys the way they shoot threes. No, I mean, you got a 23-point lead, right? 22-point lead right now. But those are back-to-back threes right there. You got to pay a little more attention to who the shooters are. Foul off the ball on Tunis. UMBC on Tunis. And here's Peyton Sanford driving in the paint. Hard to the basket on the inbounds throw, and he scores. Peyton with a double-double, his second of the season. 
at 13 points, 10 rebounds. Here's another deep three, left wing, no good. They miss one, but it kicks long. And a new possession for Devin Sapp. Baseline it goes now to Deion uh, Brown in the corner, and he hits another three. Just the way he started the game. Back-to-back -back threes. Good Iowa's lead is 21. He's got 19. He's got a sweet-looking jump shot, that's for sure, from anywhere on the floor. And Brown's got five threes on, on his own. Five of five from three. Seven of ten from the field. How about for the Hawkeyes? Don't price Sanford short, but the rebound to Desante Bowen. 10.25 to go, Iowa 75, UMBC 54. Here's Josh Dix for three. In and out, no good. Rattles in and out. Got robbed there. Kadarius Smith with the rebound. Here's Brown into the front court. Trying to work free of Price Sanford. Kadarius Smith will throw up a three. It's good. My, oh my. Nine quick points off trays. 75-57. Ten minutes to go in the game. Iowa's lead is 18. Josh Dix left of the lane for Owen Freeman. Cutting Sanford. Layup good. Nice pass by Freeman as Peyton's got four or five inches on the defender's sap. Here's Smith. Hits a jump hook in the lane. And that, that was contested. 77-59. Iowa's lead stays at 18. Cricky, Harding, Perkins are all going to come back in. A little more size in there for the Hawkeyes. And here's a poke away on a dribble. Uh, Bowen lost it, but the Hawks get it right back. Restolen by Price Sanford. His three is good from the corner. That was welcomed. Good to see. Yeah, an assist from his brother Peyton lined it up and said, take this shot here, little brother. Far right corner. 80-59 Iowa. Still nine minutes to go in the game. The Hawks have 80 points. Kadarius Smith has hit his last two shots, a three and a two. Throws it into the corner for Reggie Amata Sunnis. Shot is up and good by Sunnis. The sophomore from Lithuania drove it hard inside. And gets the basket. Now a free throw coming. A foul on Iowa. It's 80-61, Hawkeyes. Bowen, Dixon, Price, Sanford exit. Along with Owen Freeman, Fran McCaffrey trying to keep fresh bodies on the floor at this pace. Free throw coming for Reggie Amata Sunnis. He's a, just a 33% free thrower. A sophomore. Went to a prep school in New York City. Free throws up and no good. Cricky with a rebound. Ben Cricky, another solid floor game tonight. Now has six rebounds to go with his 11 points. Perkins to a cutting Peyton Sanford. Shot blocked off the glass and no good. Hawks are executing in the half court, but that shot was defended nicely by the retrievers. Back in their end, it's Marcus Banks Jr. Crosses over on McCaffrey, throws cross court. Catch by Ashton Reese. He throws a pass to the baseline. Kadarius drives inside and misses the jump hook over Ben Cricky. Cricky with a rebound. Ben brings it down himself to Perkins. Shot by Peyton Sanford in transition. Nails a three. Tony the assist. It's 83-61 Iowa. Eight minutes to play in the game. That is automatic. Good pass. Put it in the shot pocket. Peyton didn't waste any time and drains his fourth three-point field goal of the evening. Sanford 18 points, 10 rebounds. Now here's a reverse layup good by Deion Brown. He drove right into the paint with a nifty move. 21 for Brown with 21. He still has three fouls. 83-63 Iowa. Harding running the point. Man to man is UMBC. Brock, Brock lost the dribble, gets it back. Wraparound pass to Tony Perka and step back jumper no good at the foul line. And cleared by Marcus Banks. He brings it down the floor himself. Iowa up 20. 720 to go. Kadarius Smith. Bad pass intended for a back cutting. Reese taken away by Brock Harding and a slam down dunk at the other end by Tony Perkins. The steal and then the assist by Brock Harding. I have to check the assist record for a single game. Harding's got to be getting pretty close. He's got 10 assists. It's got to be a career high for him. No doubt his freshman season. Seven minutes to go. Iowa leads it by 22. 85-63. The pitch into the corner to Brown. 
Step back three, that's an air ball right to a teammate. Now they're on the floor scrambling for it. Three seconds. That <laughs> should have been. Here's a jump shot, a dunk down actually by Kadarius Smith. After all that scrum, Smith gets a dunk. Here's a pass inside and an easy score for Cricky. Hawks are beating the retrievers down the floor now. Perkins with an assist. Boy, the assist to baskets is off the charts for the Hawkeyes. Look at that. 20 28 assists. Assist. 36 main baskets. That's incredible. <laughs> 617 to go. Hawks by 22. 87 65. Banks on a crossover dribble. Misses the runner off the glass. Good defense by Patrick McCaffrey. Cleared by Cricky. Harding with a run out. Misses the layup. Rebounded by Brown. We're heading back the other way. Two on two. And here's a drive in. Missed layup by the Sunnis, who was off balance. And the ball knocked out of bounds by a gas, Peyton Sanford. <laughs> There's a lot of tongues hanging out as we come to the break. 5.55 to play in the game. Iowa 87. Maryland, Baltimore County, 65. Nothing goes better with Hawkeye sports than Wimmer's Meats. Wimmer's hot dogs and sausages deliver the home game experience to your family and friends. Wimmer's, the official hot dog of the Hawks. And if you or someone you know needs support this holiday, please call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. That's text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield brings you more basketball in just a moment. The Hawkeyes from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. It takes hard work to be the best in the game. Planning, commitment, resilience, sweat. That's why Old Dominion Freight Line, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freight Line, official freight carrier of Iowa Athletics, helping the world keep promises. Have you heard about this new type of television experience from Epson? It's called the Epic Vision Ultra Laser Projection TV. It combines a new type of laser projection technology along with a unique Epson Silverflex screen to produce an epic 120-inch 4K Pro UHD picture that's up to four times bigger than a traditional 60-inch TV. There's no better way to watch live sports, and watching Iowa basketball play live on this big, bright TV is simply awesome. If you're a sports fanatic like me, you need to check this new Epson TV out for yourself. Visit Epson.com TV to learn more. Back in Iowa City, the Hawks uh, head to the finish line. So hopefully victory number seven. They have things under control right now. 87-65 over uh, Maryland, Baltimore County. Hawks have 28 assists on 36 made baskets. The uh, team record is 34 for one game, so they're only a half a dozen away uh, from that record with 5.55 to go in the game. Might get it. Yeah, and here's a turnover. Well, almost a turnover. Ball batted to a uh, a retriever, and a three-point shot is good from the left corner. Banks. By Marcus Banks. Well, that looked like an Iowa forced turnover. And here's a baseline jump shot. That is no good. Rebounded by Suanes. Deion Brown leads the charge down the floor. 87-68. Iowa's lead is 19 with five and a half to go in the game. Lorca Lloyd back in for UMBC. Banks tries a three from outside. No good. Kicks long to the corner. Cricky runs it down. Here's Harding. Always with that head up. He's got a mitt full of assists tonight, does Brock Harding. Total of 10. The single game record is 16 by Cal Wolfsburg. Hawkeye pass is deflected out of bounds. Wolfsburg, way back in 1976, had 16. Connor McCaffrey had 13 in a game last year 
And certainly Brock Harding with 10 is threatening that mark. Here's Patrick McCaffrey, drives into the paint, leaves it for a trailing Harding. He leans in, misses the layup, might have been blocked. Off the glass and down the floor come the Retrievers. Corner three, no good. McCaffrey lost the rebound to Harding. Now they're on the floor. And Tony Perkins dives on the opponent. And a jump ball is called. It'll stay with UMBC. Good hustle. Yeah, Fran's upset about somebody. Lack of hustle. 17 on the shot clock, 444 on the game clock. So the ball never changed possession. So it'll stay with UMBC, but no new shot clock. Jim Ferry begs to differ. So we play on. Ashton Reese to Suanee's in the far corner. 436 to go. Steal by Tony Perkins. Tony has one defender to beat. Leaves it to a trailing Brock Harding. An assist on a basket again. Well, Brock certainly giving it to Tony in good position enough tonight. Tony gives one right back to Brock. Iowa 89-68 over UMBC. Harding a double-double now. 10 points, 10 assists. Banks hits a step-back jumper from 19 feet, not a three. 89-70 Iowa. Bryce Sanford back for the Hawkeyes. 4.05 to play. McCaffrey, Patrick, left wing, drives hard to the baseline. Double team, gets it to Perkins. He's trapped on the baseline. Harding to a cutting tricky. Layup is good. Brock Harding creating on the dish again. Another one. Good passing. Interior passing that time. By the Hawkeyes. 11 assists now for Brock Harding. Tricky the basket. What a performance by Brock Harding. Uh, yep. Pure freshman from Moline High School. He'll be our Old Dominion best in the game. Old Dominion delivers. Brock Harding has really delivered tonight. 11 assists, 10 points, and three steals for the youngster. And he's just getting his career started. Throughout the Iowa Corn Cyhawk series, Iowa Corn promotes values that are uniquely Iowan. On behalf of Iowa's corn farmers, we salute all athletes for their hard work and determination both on and off the field. Just like our athletes, our state leads the nation in corn and ethanol production. Follow Iowa Corn on Facebook and learn how corn grows Iowa. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year from Iowa Corn. This is Hawkeye Basketball presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Iowa basketball. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox Home Comfort Specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash corn grows Iowa. Hawkeye basketball winding down for the night, leading 91-70. Uh, amazing stat. Iowa's assisted 30 times on 38 made baskets. 30 assists, just four turnovers. Hard to lose when you're playing that well with the basketball, Bobby. Really valuing possession of the basketball. Unselfish uh, play by the Hawkeyes, led by Brock Harding. He came in and really ignited this offense in the first half. He's got a double-double, 10 points, 11 assists, just one turnover, and four steals of the game. Tony Perkins solid once again with 19 points, 7 assists, no turnovers. His dish to Cricky for the layup also ends with a free throw for... 
Ben. He makes that. Cricky now with 17 points right at his average. And the Hawkeye lead is 92-70. 3.40 to play in the game here at Carver Hawkeye Arena. Jump shot is no good from the free throw line. Deion Brown went up and got his own miss. Scoop layup is good. Rare offensive rebound and a putback for Deion Brown. He's got 23 to lead everybody on the floor. And it's 92-72. Hawkeyes have better balance in their lineup. Patrick McCaffrey with a missed jump shot right left of the lane. Put back no good by Tony Perkins. Boy, has he been a workhorse again tonight inside. Yeah, he really has. And, and he, he just, like I said, solid all night long. And so strong. This is his type of game. Up and down. He can overpower the smaller guards. Tony leads the Hawks with 19. 17 for Cricky. 11 for McCaffrey. 10 for Harding. And Tony just collared his sixth rebound to go with seven assists. <laughs> Another tremendous line for Tony Perkins. Makes the first free throw, 93-72 Iowa. And 94-72 Hawkeyes. Hawks continue to press, work that offense and defense. Going to need it going forward as the Big Ten season approaches. There's a poke away, another near steal by Brock Harding. He's got a handful to go with his 11 assists. Out of bounds to uh, Maryland, Baltimore County. 3.03 to go. Pass into the corner. Pull-up jump shot by Banks is no good. Rebound tipped to Cricky, and he's hacked across the forearms. That is uh, team foul six, I believe, on uh, but the Hawks only three fouls whistled on him this half. All that contact, racehorse basketball, really well executed. An impressive game. Mm -hmm. Northern Illinois is here next week after Christmas. Hawks get a week off or at least a week without basketball uh, competition. They'll be practicing. Jump hook no good by Cricky in the lane. And back with the rebound comes Deion Brown. Going to take Brock Harding off the dribble. And his bounce pass to the baseline is kicked by uh, Price Sanford. 2.35 to go. Hawks will be 7-5. and five. UMBC will fall to 5-9. and 94-72. Hawks look to finish strong here. And in it comes with 18 to shoot. Pull-up jumper baseline right is good. Nice touch by Ashton Reese, freshman. From Scottsdale. It's nice here today. It's probably a little warmer in Scottsdale. Patrick McCaffrey with a step back jump shot. A little strong. Cricky tips the rebound to Hardy. Cricky underneath. Layup good by Bryce Sanford. Eyes in the back of Ben Cricky's head. Yeah, good find. He was uh, help with Tony Perkins pointed out that Price was wide open underneath. Nobody in the vicinity, and he gets an easy one. He's got five. Two minutes to go. It's 96 74, Hawkeyes. UMBC spreads the floor. They're running a little three-man strong side figure eight. Here's a shot up and no good, but a foul called on Price Sanford. Right in front of the rim, Max Lorca Lloyd. Good hard foul by Price. Prevented the easy layup. Hey, don't settle for ordinary with your company's apparel. Say hello to a new standard of style known as authentic brand. It's not just a label. It is a lifestyle from sleek office essentials to laid back everyday wear. Authentic brand, the label for you. I'm showing off my uh, authentic brand script Iowa golf shirt tonight. Bobby's got his uh, zip, zip up pullover on. Authentic always, brand. Always have the parka with me, though. Just in case. Those days are coming when we need the park. <laughs> one free throw missed, one free throw made for Orca Lloyd. 96 75. Iowa's lead 21 with a minute 46 to go. McCaffrey, Price Sanford, Tony Perkins, Brock Harding, and Ben Cricky finishing up. Here's McCaffrey on a nice curl cut from high post right to the basket, a score and a foul called 
I love it when the Hawks continue to run their half-court set offense, even with this thing uh, well in hand. Yeah, that was a nice play that time. Ben Cricky waited for Patrick to curl off that high screen about the free throw line. He cut it off short, went down through the middle, took the hit at the muscle, and gets the end one. Patrick McCaffrey got 13. Evan Bronze comes and gets Ben Cricky, another big night for the Hawkeyes. Big man, 17 points. Free throw for McCaffrey. And it's good for Patrick. Patrick's had a nice, solid game. 6 of 11 from the field. He's hit 1-3, 14 points for PMAC. 99-75, Iowa. Left-handed dribble into the lane by Banks. Throws to the wing and... Deion Brown, now a three is good by Reese outside. Long three by Reese. It's that freshman from Scottsdale. He's lanky, six foot five. Timeout on the floor. We'll keep it right here. The Hawks are officially headed to the Citrus Bowl in Orlando. Head to HawkeyeSports.com slash Bowl Central. We'd like you to go along with us. You can view information on game tickets, air travel, and hotel presented by Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited, Iowa's official bowl tour. Again, just log on to HawkeyeSports.com slash Bowl Central. And if you're looking for bigger, bolder, better yields, FS Envision Seed Corn and FS High Soy Soybeans are here to change the game. Our seed products deliver winning results every single time. Reach out to your local FS retailer or visit fsc.com, fsc.com, and learn more. Hawks next game before the new year, and then it's Big Ten all the time. Northern Illinois is here on December 29th. What is that, Wednesday? It might be a Friday. Actually, that's later, later in the week. Well, let's see, New Year's Eve is... 25th is Monday. Sunday. Friday night. Yeah, Friday night. No wonder I screwed that up. Those are rare games, Friday night basketball. So the Hawks got a nice little break here. Coach said they'll be back on the 26th. Most everybody will go home. And if they don't go home, they'll be hanging out with their friends in and around Iowa City. 117 to play. So come on out and watch this fun, exciting team to view in person. December 29th. Here's Bronze with a dunk with the left hand. Another great dish and a big smile from Brock Harding. Again, a no look. He doesn't make a blind pass. He's not happy. That's 33 assists, one off the school record. What's the big deal if I can see the guy? <laughs> one minute to go. Here's a steal by Perkins. Perkins on a side sideways pass down, and he dunks it through. 103-78. Tony Perkins, spectacular floor game tonight at both ends. That's another turnover, 15 in all. And points off turnovers, yeah, a little lopsided. 23-7, to 7, Iowa. There's a three, no good by Banks, rebounded by Reese. This youngster's played well here in the last 10 minutes of the game. Looking for playing time. He is, Ashton Reese. Deserving more playing time. Ball is deflected out of bounds. It'll stay with UMBC with 28.1 to go. Therese between the circles. Out of Banks. Out, out on the wing for Short. Here's Smith. Short will throw up a three and score. With four seconds on the shot clock. That's 13 threes on the night. But that was the highlight for UMBC. Hawks will dribble the clock out. Fran McCaffrey and Jim Ferry will have a hug for each other. Jim's an old New York City guy. Fran from Philly. They go way back. Jim, the former head coach at Duquesne. What a floor game for Brock Harding. He's our Old Dominion best in the game. And the final score, Iowa 103, Maryland, Baltimore County 81. Stay with us for the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. That's next here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. You're listening to Hawkeye Basketball from Lurfield. You've been listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes, presented by Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Also brought to you by Linux and your local Linux home comfort specialist. Made right here in Iowa since 1895. 
Shelter Insurance. Find an agent for your auto, home, and life at shelterinsurance.com. Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit ialottery.com for details. Bud Light. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. And buy. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge, just minutes south of Iowa City. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. At MidAmerican Energy, our 1.6 million customers depend on our energy 24-7. That's why we work 24-7 to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. To keep our 99.9% reliability record, we're enhancing our technology, improving resiliency, and investing in critical infrastructure. We're generating power from all available resources to cover any increases in demand. And we're innovating to ensure you always have the energy you need. MidAmerican Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. There's a Honda for every holiday adventure. Whether it's traveling to the holiday family dinner in an efficient Accord hybrid, or heading to a hike to burn it off in a powerful CRV hybrid. Find your new Honda during Happy Honda Days. For a limited time, well qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Accord hybrid and a 2024 CRV hybrid. So see your central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. See dealer for financing details. Join the Hawkeye Radio Network and Swarm for our Hawk Talk Bowl preview show. Swarming to the Citrus, live from the pub at the Point Orlando on December 31st from 1 to 2.30 p.m. Central Time. Join us for an in-depth analysis of the Hawkeyes versus the Tennessee Volunteers. Hawk fans traveling to Orlando, make sure to stop by the pub at the Point for the best fish and chips in the U.S., plus over 30 draft beers, including the Pour Your Own Beer Wall. It's the Hawk Talk Bowl preview show, December 31st on the Hawkeye Radio Network and the official YouTube channel of the Hawkeyes. On the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield, Hawkeye Basketball has been brought to you by Authentic Brand. It's more than just a label, it's a statement. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. By your local Ford dealers. U.S. Bank, proud to support Iowa basketball. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. And by... Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. This is the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes. Built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. 103-81, the Hawkeyes top the century mark again this season as they head to the Big Ten uh, campaign in just a couple weeks with a 103-81 victory over the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. Gary Dolphin, Bobby Hansen with you back for our U.S. Cellular postgame show. 8,357 fans here tonight on a, a beautiful day in uh, eastern Iowa and saw some beautiful basketball, Bobby. It's, uh, yeah. it's a, it's a double-take type stat uh, when, it looks, when, you, when you talk about sharing the basketball for the Hawkeyes. Uh, uh, tonight with 33 assists on 42 made baskets. That's just one shy of the single game team record. Yeah, it was impressive and right from the get-go the Hawks were sharing the basketball. They got set back a little bit with a three-point shooting by UMBC early, but they got it going once that second unit came in. Brock Harding really set the tempo. He got, he got this uh, offense into a rhythm, got them running up and down the court, and then they never looked back, to be honest with you. They had a really good start to the second half. Patrick McCaffrey with a three-pointer made. Peyton Followed that up, and then uh, it was it was just extend the lead, and then it came back a little bit. But uh, rebound dominance by the Hawkeyes. But the story of the game, you're exactly right, Gary, was the way the Hawkeyes shared the basketball, 33 assists. All seven ties and seven lead changes occurred in the first uh, 13, 14 minutes of the game. It was back and forth, and then the Hawks went on a 25 to seven run over the final six and a half minutes of that first half. 
uh, got up uh, by 14 at the break, and they did it with defense. Yeah, they certainly did, and uh, been getting better in that regard. You know, they got uh, stung a little bit early with the three pointers, but I like how they they come in there. They're stepping in the gaps. They're they're helping each other out. I watched them when they when they transition back defensively. They're communicating, helping each other out. You know, switching uh, when it's appropriate. So uh, this team just continues to get better. Hawks outscore. Uh, UMBC and points off turnovers, 23 to 7. That was a big stat, like most of them were tonight. We'll review that on the Hy-V recap shortly. Our post game is sponsored by U.S. Cellular. This holiday season, Iowa basketball is partnering with U.S. Cellular by giving the gift of connection. This season, the Hawkeyes and U.S. Cellular encourage fans to support Iowa nonprofit organizations by donating new sports gear, art supplies, or family games. Fans can deliver donations to their local U.S. Cellular store through New Year's Eve, December 31st. Your support is appreciated. Let's show Iowa how the gift of connection can truly impact the next generation. Let's, uh, before we take our first break on the postgame show, look at the Latham Seeds charity stripe recap, uh, courtesy of Latham Seeds. Uh, the free throws, not a big factor tonight, but the Hawks did get there 16 times and made 13. Much better than uh, Saturday over at the Wells Fargo Arena when they batted just 500. 81% tonight for Iowa on 13 of 16 makes uh, and six, 13 makes and 16 attempts. UMBC, this is how well Iowa played defense. UMBC got to the foul line just nine times and made four. That is the Latham Seeds Charity Stripe Recap brought to you by Latham High Tech Seeds. Just like the Hawkeyes' diverse talents, no seed company has more trait and genetic diversity than the Latham High Tech Seeds. Thank you, Latham Seeds, for supporting Hawkeye basketball and the American Cancer Society through the Hawkeye Charity Stripe promotion all season long. Iowa wins the game, 103-81 over UMBC. More postgame coming up in just a minute. First, let's pause 10 seconds right now for station identification. Station identification time on the Hawkeye Radio Network from Carver Hawkeye Arena. You're listening to Iowa Basketball. Yeah, thank you for your attention tonight in Ashton, Columbus Junction, Westfield, and Dune, way out there in uh, Lyon County in northwest Iowa. Appreciate you folks tuning in on the Hawkeye Radio Network. 103-81, Iowa wins it back with more postgame in just a minute. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Equity salutes today's hero of the game as a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season. Please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in Eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Florin. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon called. It's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See Credit Union for details. Our mission at Oaknall is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknall is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknall.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! Hawkeyes win at 
over Maryland, Baltimore County. Let's look at the Hy-Vee stat recap, courtesy of Hy-Vee. Hy-Vee, score big with savings and with the all-new, totally free Hy-Vee Perks membership. Hy-Vee brings you our post-game stat recap on Iowa's 103-81 victory over the Retrievers of Maryland, Baltimore County. The big stat, 33 assists on 42 made baskets, one shy of the school record. A dozen assists for Brock Harding. Uh, the uh, single-game school record is 16 by Cal Wolfsburg. Connor McCaffrey at 13 in a game a year ago, and Brock Harding was right there tonight uh, with dish after dish after dish. I mean, 12 assists, one turnover, and he had four steals to go with his 10 points. In 30 minutes of play, uh, the freshman from Moline really sparkled uh, tonight. His uh, high school state champion teammate, Owen Freeman, uh, made the most of his 13 minutes. He got in early foul trouble in each half, had to sit most of the night, uh, still had six points and seven rebounds. Double-double for Ben Crickey at 17 points, 12 boards, 18 points, 10 rebounds for Peyton Sanford. Peyton had... Seven field goals, 12 tries. Four of those uh, were from three, four of eight, and uh, therefore uh, Peyton Sanford is our hot Hawkeye of the night, courtesy of your Lennox heating and air conditioning dealer in the great state of Iowa. Peyton played 26 minutes, uh, scored those 18 points on seven of 12, shooting four threes, 10 rebounds, his second double-double of the year. Also had six assists. Terrific floor game for him, Tony Perkins, as you'll see. Uh, but for Peyton, his second career double-double, and he is our uh, honor rollee from uh, the friends at uh, our friends at uh, Lennox Heating and Air Conditioning, HVAC, like affordable heating in Cedar Rapids, Cameland Plumbing and Heating in Creston, in the Waterloo Waverly area. Stop in and see Hudson Hardware Plumbing and Heating, Langles Plumbing and Heating in Sioux Center, and out in Omaha, thanks to Extreme Heating and Cooling for bringing you our. Uh, heating up the nets, our Lennox Hot Hawkeye. It's Peyton Sanford, 7 of 12, 26 minutes played, 18 points, 10 rebounds. Congratulations to Peyton Sanford. Elsewhere on, on the uh, sheet, 10 points for Brock Harding to go with those uh, 12 assists. Uh, talk about a nice double-double. Uh, Tony Perkins led the Hawkeyes with 23 points, 7 assists, just a, a marvelous floor game for Tony. Made all five of his free throws and nine of 18 from the field. Tony Perkins with 23.6 rebounds, seven assists. He had the most impressive stat line of many. Patrick McCaffrey had 14 points tonight. Half a dozen for Josh Dix. Half a dozen for Owen Freeman. Five points for Price Sanford and two each for Evan Bronze and DeSante Bowen. The Hawks shoot 42 of 84 for 50%. 6 of 23 from 3, and made 13 of 16 free throws. For uh, Maryland, Baltimore County, Deion Brown with 23 points ties Perkins for game high honors. Brown hit 5 of 6 from distance. He hit the first two threes uh, he he took tonight. Made In fact, uh, the Retrievers hit 4 of their first 5 from distance, got the lead to 6, and then the Hawkeyes uh, got it going and led by 14 at the half. But 23 points for Deion Brown. Kadarius Smith, their 6'9", brute inside. He had 20. Uh, so there's uh, those two were the only double-figure scorers. Nobody else with more than eight for UMBC. Eight points for Marcus Banks. The Retrievers shoot 46% for the game on 32 of 69. 13 threes in 25 attempts uh, for 52%. That is uh, dead-eye marksmanship from from deep, but the Hawks were able to get to so many more paint scores, which you'll see here in just a second. It's an eye-popping stat for Iowa in uh, lane and paint scores. Talk about domination. That in a minute. For the Hawkeyes, just four turnovers, 15 turnovers for UMBC. Iowa with the 23 points off uh, UMBC turnovers, 23 to 7. Uh, the bench scoring was even, 25-24 in favor of Iowa. Fast break points, Iowa 28-6 to for the Retrievers. And uh, in terms of paint scores, 66-34. to Iowa with 66 paint scores. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Right now it's time to go our first trip into the Iowa locker room where Brock Harding is patiently waiting. A season-long 29 minutes for Brock tonight, 10 points. 
uh, four of ten from the field, but that doesn't begin to talk about his floor game. Twelve assists, including four steals. You came within uh, four of the school record, which has stood since 1976. I know you're not worried about records, but uh, what a floor game. You sure look more comfortable with uh, each passing game, Brock. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, coaches and all the guy, older guys on the team really help with that, just really tell me to play my game, and that just gives me all the confidence I need to go out there and do what I do as a point guard. And not only do you assist, uh, you, you'd rather not see the guy. Well, I mean, you see him, but you don't. Uh, those no-lookers are uh, uh, things of beauty to watch, and uh, I, I dare say that at least half of your assist tonight came with eyes in the back of your head. Have you always had that uh, ability? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've always just kind of seen the game well and then just watching film, seeing stuff with the coaches that just kind of we watch film before the game, so I kind of know what their other team likes to do, their tendencies, and guys cut off the ball. makes my job a whole lot easier. So a lot of it's film study then. That's a, that's a great point. Point. Uh, so take us through one of those breaks. What's the first thing you look for when you start to ignite that downfield rush? Uh, I'm just trying to draw the first defender in front of me. If nobody picks me up, I'll go all the way. But most of the time they pick me up, read the second guy. Other guy normally goes to the closest guy. So probably an open three or open lob and just pretty easy when you got the guys that we got on this team 33 assists on 42 made baskets i mean that's off the charts yeah i mean just a really unselfish group guys really don't care who scores as long as we get the win and you see that with games like this well you got a lot of options too and that that helps your game your passing game i know uh, uh, uh five and double figures you've got uh um, well, uh, pick a name. Uh, Tony Perkins had a great floor game again. Peyton Sanford, who can shoot it. Uh, of course, Cricky and Patrick McCaffrey. Owen didn't get going because of foul issues tonight, but you got a lot of options out there. For sure, yeah. This team's really deep, and you see that with every game. It's a new guy every game, and that just makes it so much fun to play for this team. Owen Freeman is such a bundle of energy. and I mean, you played with him all through high school, or mostly through high school, but, uh, you know, if you're going to describe him to somebody who's never seen him play, how would that description go? Well, tonight it was tough just because he got some quick whistles, and then he was just bigger than everybody, so they kind of saw all the fouls that he had, but not him getting hacked every time. But, I mean, he's just going to affect the game on defense, whether he blocks the shot or not. Uh, it's kind of altering. They're going to fade away from the hoop, then we can run off that. One of the best... Uh, in shape big guys I've ever played with he gets up and up and down the court so quick ready to go for a lob ready for a putback dunk extending his game out to 15 feet and deeper it's just been awesome to see his growth every single game and every single year yeah you mentioned the size Iowa out rebounded UMBC 47 36 tonight uh, you, you know that's common with the bigs Cricky and Evan Bronze when he gets in there but Perkins is such a great rebounding guard I'm guessing you're always looking to flare to the wing as soon as you see the ball go up if you're playing defense no Knowing that if it's a, that rebound comes off, if it doesn't go in, it's usually coming off to a, a, a Hawkeye, and they're looking for you right out of the gate. Yeah, for sure. That's what makes our fast break game so strong is once we have those good rebounders, you said Tony, Ben, Owen, and then Peyton's a really good rebounder as well. Patrick's making strides every game. So just so many options to rebound the ball. That's what gets us out quick. Well, Moline's right down the road. Get home for a couple days, enjoy the Christmas holiday with your family, and then get back at it. For sure. Well, I'll tell you what, enjoy the the break. You, you're you're going to be a little bit sore and tired tomorrow morning, but you can sleep a couple extra hours tomorrow. Yeah, okay? for sure. <laughs> Thanks, yep. Brock. Yep. Merry Christmas. Time. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you. Brock Harding, he's as articulate as he is uh, mystifying with those passes uh, tonight in particular. As he put in quite, quite an effort, 10 points, 12 assists, four steals uh, as the Hawkeyes uh, roll it up on UMBC 103 to uh, 81. Now let's go back to the points in the paint. Uh, that was a key stat. Courtesy of our friends at Spawn and Rose. Anderson 400 series from Spawn and Rose are the clad wood windows more contractors trust for their own homes. Contractors love them because they are easy to install, time tested, and are the windows with fewer callbacks. Homeowners love their superior design with styles that bring their unique vision to life. Start exploring the 400 series at TrustAnderson.com. TrustAnderson.com, based on a 2022 Anderson brand survey of U.S. contractors. Stop in at your local spot in Rose uh, anywhere in Iowa and get started first thing tomorrow. 66 points in the paint for the Hawkeyes, and many of those were fast break layups off turnovers umbc with 34 markers in the lane but iowa uh, doubling up nearly uh, uh, doubling up 
uh, UMBC and points in the paint. Thanks to Spawn and Rose, who bring you our points in the paint every postgame. 103-81, the final. The Hawks win it. Back with more U.S. Cellular postgame show after this. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. The big game. Family. Friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. Hawk fans, stop in and visit the newly renovated guest rooms at Hyatt Regency Coralville Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Iowa River Landing. Stay within walking distance of Extreme Arena, home of the Iowa Hawkeye volleyball team, as well as great restaurants, shopping, and scenic walking trails along the Iowa River. Hyatt Regency Coralville is also the home of Hawk Talk with Lisa Bluter and Fran McCaffrey this fall. Come together at Hyatt Regency Coralville, where everything you need is right here. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Iowa basketball. Back on the U.S. Cellular postgame show, the Hawkeyes defeat Maryland, Baltimore County, 103-81 tonight. Let's relive some of the moments. Uh, Maryland came out firing. UMBC hit four of its first five threes, built the lead to six. The Hawkeyes uh, took a minute or two to get started and, and adjust, and Patrick McCaffrey with a jump shot. The assist to Tony Perkins brought the Hawks to within two. And here are the Trevers right into the front court. We talked about their pace of play. Here's a steal. Bad pass. Tony Perkins heading the other way and misses the layup. Gets his own rebound. Up and misses again. Put back is good by Ben Cricky. Great hustle by Cricky to get down there and help his teammate. Cricky's put back uh, tied the game at six. Uh, two minutes into the game. Uh, Peyton Sanford uh, after another three uh, and a score. Another score by UMBC. They got up... Uh, 12-8, uh, Peyton Sanford uh, with a long, first long-range jump shot of the night for him with the assist of Patrick McCaffrey. Dion Brown, their leading scorer, 17 again. You can see why. Sanford tries to zero in his first three and does. The exchange of threes makes it 12-11. Yeah, that with four minutes gone in the game, and they were trading baskets. Seven ties and seven lead changes in the first uh, uh, 14 minutes. Uh, the uh, re Retrievers led 17-15 at the 10-minute mark of the first half. Josh Dix hopped off the bench and paid dividends. Dix puts the ball on the floor. Behind the back dribble, gets into the paint, step back. Jumper is good. Actually got knocked off stride by Marlon Short. Josh Dix showing, showing some toughness. Got that 10-footer to fall. Hawks were down two at that point. Then Iowa started getting to the free throw line. Uh, Harding made a couple. Perkins made a couple. Iowa still trailed, though, 23, uh, 26 to 23, thanks to that continuous long-range uh, jump shooting uh, by the Retrievers. It was 26-23 when the Hawks started to get the break going, and they started also to turn over UMBC. Smith's got seven points, and many of those... In the 6-0 run, here's a dunk by McCaffrey on the bounce. Pass inbounds from Brock Harding. 26-25, the UMBC lead was one. And the Hawks went on a 6-0 run after a Brock Harding steal. Cricky hit a jump shot with the assist to Tony Perkins. McCaffrey followed that up with a jump shot, the assist to Brock Harding. And the Hawks finally had the lead at 33-31. It was extended to 37-31 a moment later. 
Here's another pass deflected away. Stolen away by Perkins. Leads a three on two the other way. Harding draws contact. No whistle, but scores anyway. 37-31. Hawks up six. Now that was at the end of a 12-2 run by Iowa. Iowa led at 37-31. Another stop led to another score. A missed dunk by Johnson. Tipped and controlled by Cricky. Sanford all the way for the Hawkeyes. Throws it back to Tony Perkins. Layup good. 3.20 to go in the half, and the Hawkeyes are on a roll. 39-31. UMBC got a timeout with the Hawks uh, in the throes of a 14-2 sprint. In the final six minutes of that first half, Iowa would outscore Maryland-Baltimore County 25 25- to seven. Iowa didn't let up. Uh, the Hawks led by 14 at the break, 50 36. Didn't let up in the second half. Right out of the gate, Patrick hits a three. Cleared by Perkins. Hawks are running. Wide open look for three is McCaffrey. Good. Nice find. Great assist by Peyton Sanford. 53 36. Iowa uh, jacked the lead to 17 right at the get go in the second half. A moment later, uh, the run game was in full fashion. Ben Cricky scores on a layup. Here's Cricky scoring again in the lane. He just muscled his way in on the big fella. Cricky with 17 points, 12 rebounds, another double-double for Big Ben tonight. Iowa started the second half with a 7-0 run and got the lead north of 20, and it only got worse there. Cricky with another layup with four minutes to go in the game. The assist to Brock Harding again. Harding to a cutting Cricky. Layup is good. Brock Harding creating on the dish again. 12 assists for Brock Harding to go with his 10 points. 23 for Tony Perkins and 7 assists. 18 and 10 for Peyton Sanford. Everybody was uh, munching on those retrievers, especially in the second half. Everybody got involved. Fran played everybody. And the Hawks rolled to a 103-81 victory. Over Maryland, Baltimore County, the Hawks are now seven and five. UMBC drops to five and nine. Those are the highlights, some of the highlights anyway, from tonight's uh, Hawkeye climb above the century mark once again. We'll come back and hear from Fran McCaffrey next here on our postgame coverage, brought to you by U.S. Cellular. This is Hawkeye basketball from Lurfield. Everyone knows the BBB is the Better Business Bureau, but depending on what you need, it's the Better Plumber Bureau, the Better Auto Mechanic Bureau, the Better Accountant Bureau. That's because the BBB connects people with businesses they can trust. So think of the BBB as the Better Check That Business Out First so you don't get ripped off Bureau. Be smart. Always look for the BBB seal because it's looking out for you. Find a better business anytime at BBB.org. Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. American Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. Back to the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. Iowa's win, 103-81 over Maryland, Baltimore County, was uh, spiced by a 25-7 run. The final six and a half minutes of the first half, then 7-0 to start the second half. So that's 32-7. 
uh, where the Hawkeyes got control of the game and uh, won it going away. And no doubt that was on uh, Fran McCaffrey's mind as he sat down with Bobby Hanson. In fact, they're ready to go now. Each and every game night, Coach McCaffrey's uh, chat with Bobby is sponsored by your Iowa John Deere dealers, including Van Wall Equipment in Colfax. Here's Bobby. Well, Coach, as advertised, that was a uh, team that came in here and played fast, got off to a quick start with some three-point shooting, but uh, you guys really turned it around a lot of time when the second unit came in, and in particular Brock Harding. Yeah, I would say the last, the last half of the first half uh, with Brock and, and a couple guys, but then when the starters came back in, they extended the lead to 14. And the start of the second half with the starters, uh, we, you know, we got it into the 20s. And with 11 minutes and something to go, we're up 28. And, then, you know, I think the guys relaxed a little. You can't do that. Uh, that's very disappointing. You know, they hit, they scored nine points in like a minute 30. And we just weren't as locked in. I had to go back with the, with the other group. And uh, we have to understand the quality of teams that are coming in here. But one of the reasons why we schedule teams like this with a really good coach and Jimmy Ferry uh, that plays that way is they challenge your team, they challenge your defense, they challenge your offense, and they make you beat them. So I'm really proud of our guys for that. And Coach, the impressive thing was the 33 assists on 42 made baskets, one off the school record of 34. Just talk about the guys sharing the ball. I'm probably more impressed with 33 assists and four turnovers. You know, we're not turning it over. So we're coming down, we're getting a shot every time. And, and they were doing a lot of switching which in the beginning of the game got us a little bit stagnant, Bobby. But then we started cutting and finding open people and getting easy baskets and also getting to the free throw line. We were in a double bonus pretty early in the first half. Go talk about those just four turnovers. How was a, a, a team playing at this fast pace able to take such good care of the basketball? Just something you, you really uh, preach at them? We really emphasize it. And, you know, I'm really proud of the guys because they buy in. Yeah, we want to play fast. Yeah, we want to run. We're going to push it on makes. We're going to push it on misses. We're going to drive the basketball, but we're going to move it. And we're going to set screens to get people up. We're going to move the ball to open people. And then we're going to drive the close out. And then we're going to attack the glass. And that's what winning teams do. And I'm really proud of the guys tonight. Coach, how important was it to, on, on a getaway game as the kids will, will head home, most of them, uh, on a Christmas break here? How important was it to, to leave the arena here tonight with a, with a good taste in your mouth? Well, we remember what it was like last year. It was not a good taste in our mouth. We lost that game didn't play well and ironically that game we got up 22 to 6 to start the game and then we went to a, like an epic scoring drought and they were making shots well, that's what teams do at this level there's incredible parity like i said in college basketball and if you're not ready to go and you don't play 40 minutes you're going to have a problem so you're right i feel really good about that Go talk about tony perkins i thought he had a solid performance all uh, evening long really was kind of a steadying influence he was also really good defensively for the most part, and, and what that did was enable us to get out in transition. Uh, and, and that was something we thought we could do in this particular game, and we did a really good job with that. Peyton Sanford, a double-double. He started rebounding the basketball early in the game and uh, ends up with, I think, 18 points and 10 rebounds, nine defensive boards. Well, he did a great job on the glass, and that was important because Owen got in foul trouble most of the game, so we needed he and Ben to get in there and rebound. Coach, what was your message to the kids as you uh, send them home? We have to be better defensively on a consistent basis. You know, you don't want to ever minimize 33 assists, four turnovers, uh, out-rebounded them, uh, but they made 13 threes, and that's unacceptable. You know, we have to be better defensively on our closeouts, and I get it. You and I get it. Okay, sometimes, you know, you get up big and, and you soften a little bit. Well, you can't because what we're trying to do is prepare for the remaining teams on our schedule. Northern Illinois is a really good team, and then we have 18 league games. So we just have to be a little bit better. Coach, what is the plan for uh, you guys get a little bit of break here and then you'll reconvene, what, on the 26th? Reconvene on the 26th. The guys will work out. I, I have confidence, Bob, that these guys, if they go home, will work out. Some of them will probably work, you know, maybe work out even tomorrow before they leave. Uh, it's a very, you know, committed group. Well, Coach, congratulations on this victory and uh, a Merry Christmas to you and your family. Appreciate it, Bobby. You too, my man. Well, Brock Harding's working out right now. Getting another one in. <laughs> he's, he's working on those jump shots that he missed uh, from the top of the key. Uh, terrific coaching staff here. You know, young guys that really love to work. Uh, Tristan's out there right now with uh, with Brock, and uh, it's great to see. Yeah, it's fun to see, and that's how you get better. I mean, you, you look at you put the work in, and you got to trust your work, as Brock likes to say, and certainly paid off here tonight. 
Hawkeyes won at 103-81 over UMBC and uh, a great start to a happy Hawkeye holiday. And we're back to wrap things up with the U.S. Bank scoreboard as the U.S. Cellular postgame show continues in just a minute. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. There's a Honda for every holiday adventure. Whether it's taking in the lights with all your friends in a spacious Accord or taking in a snow day in a rugged CRV. Find your new Honda during Happy Honda Days. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Accord and 2024 CRV. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. See dealer for financing details. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel, good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, the hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor, and Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community. Jill Armstrong and her team strive to make every buyer and seller at ease with the real estate process. If you are in the market to buy or sell a home, contact the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty. For all your real estate needs, call 319-631-5455. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. We wrap up the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show with uh, a look at the uh, U.S. Bank scoreboard uh, tonight. A couple of other Big Ten teams in action. Of course, right here, the Hawks uh, lead it from about the uh, six-minute mark of the first half on and win it going away, led by as many as 28, and win it 103-81 over Maryland, Baltimore County. Uh, Nebraska... Uh, fought off North Dakota out in Lincoln. Fred Hoiberg's Huskers win at 83-75 over North Dakota. Northwestern uh, playing out in the desert southwest in the Hall of Fame series out in Phoenix knocked off Arizona State. Final Wildcats 65 and Arizona State 46. The Hawkeye women will host Loyola of Chicago right here at Carver tomorrow afternoon at 5 o'clock before the ladies head home for the Christmas break. Now around the country Fifth-ranked uh, Connecticut fell at Seton Hall, 75-60. 21st-ranked Duke outlasted 10th-rated Baylor, 78-70. The Dukies win. Some games still in progress. The 11th-ranked North Carolina leads at number 7 Oklahoma, 41-32 Tar Heels. And uh, that's, uh, is that right, 17 seconds left to go in the game? That is a uh, low-scoring game if that's a... Oh, 17 minutes to play in the game. I'm sorry. Just early on in the second half, then North Carolina 41, Oklahoma 32. Uh, Villanova and Creighton. Creighton has an 11-point lead five minutes into the second half. 41-30 over Nova. 15th-ranked Gonzaga with 13 minutes to play leads Jackson State 57 to 39 and a late starting game Alabama is playing fourth-ranked Arizona in that Hall of Fame series out in uh, Phoenix. So there you have uh, tonight's U.S. Bank scoreboard. I want to thank Bobby Hansen for his uh, excellent work again. Our engineer producer has been Corey Sheets. I'm Gary Dolphin. The final score from Carver, Iowa 103, Maryland, Baltimore County 81. The U.S. Cellular Post Game Show continues after this. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. The big game, family, friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. 
To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash fan of corn. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt, who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. This year, we considered hiring an ad agency to help with our marketing. They pitched impressive visuals and a script that was inspiring. And exotic animal mascots to help grab your attention. In the end, we just decided to tell it to you straight. Shelter Insurance has award-winning customer service at affordable rates. Plus, our local agents are there to help you understand what coverage you need. To find an agent near you, visit shelterinsurance.com and switch today. You've been listening to the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes. Built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Hawkeye basketball has been brought to you by Authentic Brand, unique Hawkeye apparel at Authentic-Brand.com. Linux and your local Linux home comfort specialist. Made right here in Iowa since 1895. Mid-American Energy. Look up, look out for overhead power lines. Visit midamericanenergy.com for electrical safety tips. Also brought to you by Hy-V. Score big savings with the new Hy-V Perks membership. And by United Healthcare, committed to helping people live healthier lives. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation on the Hawkeye Sports Network.